<laughs> How much is that kitty in the window? No, you, you missed out, you missed out on, on Puzzle licking her, licking her goods. <laughs> She's getting ready to go to sleep. About two seconds ago. But, you know, she's, she's a part of the... Uh, she's a buckwall diaspora, client. <laughs> diaspora. That is, our, that is our, our lives. So there you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Nothing excites me more, Butcher, than the fact that... Um, hey, hey. There are people commenting from from Twitter. So, greetings. We have, we're on the Twitter? Oh, my we God. Are, yes, we are tweeting, tweeting on the Twitter right now. Um, okay, yes, let's welcome back Dennis from his week hiatus. Yes. Let's also thank um Mr. Jude Tenuta for thank you. Week. It was awesome that he added a nice little, you know, little little something something to our normal uh array of ridiculousness. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited for him to have been on, and I'm equally excited for Dennis to be back because I missed him. So Greetings. Welcome, everybody, to Monday, February 26th. This is a leap year, so he will be working into well into February this year. Dennis, oh, yeah, but he's off, he's yeah, off what are next you week. Doing? What's going on? Oh, I'm making myself a little drinky drink. Yeah, what do you got? Um, it is a – oh, my God, I just forgot what it was. It's, it's coffee liqueur and bourbon with some orange. Mm. It's delicious. Okay. Mm. Well – I'm having some chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. It'll come back to me in a little bit after I fi- after I finish this. I'll remember. I've had this for um, this is probably about a week old. I've been just kind of having little pieces of it here and there. So I try to make one of these last like a week. That's my thing. So that's yeah. Why? Because I don't want to eat that much. It's it's too much. Uh, it's too much. Too much fun. Yeah, exactly. What's wrong with you? It's too much fun. Exactly. Yes, right. yes, 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 yes. All right. So we're excited to be here tonight. And tell Revolver. You all about are, are we really? Mm-hmm. I'm, I, I, well, I'm excited to be here. I'm not excited to wake up in the morning and hear that voice first thing. Well, that's what we do. So, and then I'm equally unexpo- uninspired and excited when I get like 17 ats where I'm tagged into something that Dennis decides is... <laughs> <laughs> germane to the conversation. It is very germane. You, you know, um, you know what I love? I love the fact that last week he was bitching that he doesn't have time to do anything. And then over the weekend on Beth's Instagram is just him just sitting there like a log, you know, like combing his cat. It's just so funny that he never left he, the house. He immediately just contradicts his ass. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is he, he told us he was really tired and really busy this weekend and then proceeded to tell us he did absolutely nothing. So that's kind of the way he rolls. So what are we going to discuss tonight? Let me think about this for a second. So we had a victory lap about John Cena and some weird infatuation he has with him. Um, oh, yeah. I am not going to play I it. I can't imagine why. He's a little smitten, I say. Had a lot of agent uh, today. And we had a couple of times what I felt was Robin trying to do her script prompt for him to go on to another subject. It was kind of weird. And when you hear it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah. So anybody who's new to the show or doesn't really pay attention too often, uh, and they shouldn't on the bottom left hand side there, you see puzzle cam. So that is puzzle. Uh, Dennis's favorite, favorite she cat. Yes. of course, because before I said, oh, my God, he's licking his balls. And he's like, uh, he's a she and he has no bits. So no bits. <laughs> she's just grooming herself because that's what cats do. To get ready to go to sleep because yep. it's very important. That As she opposed to the rider who absolutely positively licks his balls. Yeah, so exactly. There's that. What did I do? What am I not effing around tonight? No, I'm not getting right to the clips. I was just, uh, mother was trying to sneak into Costco before it closes. Uh, it is already 8.20. I do believe that Costco, I don't know what time Costco closes. And and by the way, sadly, I will tell you, I am no longer a Costco member. I let my membership slide. <gasps> oh, my God. And, um, yeah, I did a cost analysis of how much money I was spending at Costco versus. Yes. But they like, have $1.50 hot dogs. Yeah, yes, gives, they do. 
Who with a soda? Who can eat soda? That? Seriously, who can eat that hot dog? It's really just mm-hmm. too much. It's too much. It's too much. You can oh, get two meals out of for a dollar fifty. I mean, you come can on. Put that with somebody, it would be perfectly fine. That's a lot of dog. That's a lot of. That's a lot of. That's a, a lot, lot of meat. meat. That's a lot of mystery meat uh, to shove in one's mouth. Wait, 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 wait. I just put JMD. <laughs> I was going to quote him and somehow I went to band. So JMD. Sorry, JMD. Oops. Sorry, bro. <laughs> he had a really good quote. In, uh... <laughs> Someone tell him to log in under a different name. You're you're very, you can't just undo no, it. No, it's, you know what? Sometimes like, you know, it's like the, the little, the show and the, the band button almost right next to each other, man. All right. Let me go. Quick. It's, you guys remember that movie, uh, Monster vs. Aliens? Where mm-hmm. the president goes oh, over, and yeah, then the Mr. Coffee button is right next to the nuclear button. It's yes. kind of like that. Oh yes, I, I promise you. No, that's I, a great. That's a great movie, by the way. No, I yeah. never did anything after that. It's better than you think it is. It, it really is a funny movie. It is funny. All right, who is it that you? Who is it that you banned? A JMD. JMD. Like I said, the, the Mr. Coffee button is right next to the nuclear button. Sorry. Mm, yeah, I don't. I don't see it on the. Uh-oh. Uh, someone tell him to log in under a different name. Sorry, bro. My sincere apologies. We'll give you one. Like AT&T will give you $5 credit for a gunk membership. membership at RadioGunk.com. Yes, yes, yes. Give, yes. give him one gunk coin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start our shit show. Oh, wait. Can I show everybody? Um, Can I show? I left my wallet in El Segundo. Left my Xavier, wallet in Xavier. El Segundo. Xavier. Good reference. Xavier. Yeah. Sorry, it's a good reference. Can I show huh? everybody my picture I took last night. Oh, you should. What, what picture of the moon? No, not the moon. Of your moon? My moon. So, you know, I've been doing this astrophotography <laughs> thing. And so last night, let me blow it up a little bit. So you did the horse head nebula? No, I didn't do the horse head nebula last night. <laughs> I did. did you do Uranus? Into my anus, yes. In 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 graphic close up. No, so this is called the Crab Nebula. Oh, the Crab yes, Nebula, yes. 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 That's what that's what you get if you sleep with the Hooker Nebula. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is the Crab Nebula. I think it's over four thousand five hundred light years away. That's far. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of far. Well, yeah, that's, that's- amazing, actually. It really is. Don't you, Don't you think here? And now I should give you my moonshot from last night. His moon's over my hammy. Ooh. Oh, see, so pretty. It was a lovely one yesterday. It was a reaction from Puzzle. And then she just went back to sleep. <laughs> she, she's not that emotive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, today's show, Dennis, thoughts? Um, it was, it was literally coming in and mailing it in without actually doing any work. Yeah. Yeah. Basically it. I don't even remember today's show. Like when I was trying to, I remember, remember. uh, I remember that, um, he, uh, did victory laps. He keep calling in. I'm getting weird echoes. Is that just me? I'm getting weird echoes all of a sudden too. Bond is here. Oh. Oh. I don't know. I can't. I can't. I'm hearing an echo when Puzzle talks too. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it was fine. And then. Oh. I'm moving on. Hello? In the year 2000. Guys, am I echoing? That's my mic is off. So, so you are you not, not Dennis's. Dennis's I, am. I am. All right, I'm good. So I'm gonna keep Every going. Show's Every show's show. the first Every show. Every show's the first show. show. The only one that's not, not echoing is, is puzzle. puzzle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. No, it is not a cluster of stars. Basically, it is a star that Maybe imploded. That. Imploded? Exploded? Well, actually, well, it's it's be a star coming, coming together. together. Um, I think that the Crab Nebula, and I'm going to look at the hot. Can we, can we see the echo before, before we go? Uh, Crab Nebula is a supernova remnant and pulsar wind nebula in the constellation of Taurus. 
common name comes from a drawing that someone resembled a crab with arms produced by William Parsons, third Earl of Ross in 1842. Hello? Uh, yeah, 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 I can fix that. Uh, seriously, seriously. I, I don't know what's going on. Okay. I don't you want me to come back in. Back in? We we do that. Do that. Again, I don't know what's going on with any of you guys. So I can't help people you. People of Earth. I salute, I salute you. you. I'm just sitting here eating my ice cream. You're not, you're not, you're seriously, you're not, you're not gonna, gonna, uh, what, what do you want me to do? I don't hear anything. I, I, don't, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't fine until, fine until bon, Jovi bon Jovi showed up and everything got fucked up. Okay, now he left. It's Tell everything from tomorrow, tomorrow today. today. Okay, he left. How is it? It's one, an one. Hello? Hello? Nope. Gen today? Jenner. Uh, wait, and now it's gone. And just like that, it's gone. Strange. Just like that, Xavier's gone. <laughs> Strange. What do you think, Puzzle? Hello? Yeah, that's oh, fine. Good. Now it's gone. Cool. Where's Bond? See, it's because I'm going to start the show. It is because of can we know, please? Stuff he's scared. Tomorrow coming back to us today. I don't even care. There's Too no much. part of me. Hello. Too there's much. no part of me that cares about this. I swear to God that we start the show every fucking time. No, dude, you know. it was fine until dude showed up. It got all screwed up. Everything's now we're fine. Now. Let's, move Let's keep going. Forward. Play that first clip of the of him bemoaning actually working. Come on, sing it. Come on, Robin. Do it. Come on, let's go. Come on, do it. Do it now. There are no words. Oh, well, then don't do it. I don't know the words. Me neither. How long has this song been the um, song for the show? 1997. 19, 1997, yes. <laughs> 27 think years. The, think about the fact that Robin doesn't know the words to that song. No, wait. Robin said there's no words to the song. No words. Really? Not, not that there's, she doesn't know them. <laughs> there's no words to the song. That's what, that was her original statement. There are no words to it. <laughs> None of them know. She is. Oh, she's she not gets long better for the world, as the show goes she? on. Oh, she does get better today. A lot of cancer references, bizarrely enough. Yes. Um, Lots of really weird references today. Yeah. So, let's talk about Howard's weekend, you know, because it was so exciting and busy and and exciting and busy. Let's hear. Oh, what a day. What a day. I had a uh, busy weekend. I was, uh, Listen. I don't know. I stayed in my house all weekend pretty much, but I was busy. I'm, I'm busy. I have a lot of. What? Things I need to do. Like what? What are they? Chores or what? No, what I don't have chores. I'm chore free. I was. Uh, I had a pretty open weekend, but I was. I was busy. What? With the arts, you know. I'm a painter. I see. I've been playing more guitar. How's uh, that going? All right. I was just talking to Steve Nowicki about guitar. I've been talking to Fred. He did nothing basically. So he. Oh he my was... God, Zach. Zach. Oh my god, it's Zach. Zach. Baby, I was just thinking about you the other night. I swear to God. Aww. And Aww. That makes one of us. Mm, no, Zach, seriously, I miss you so so much. Can you get in touch with me and give me like your cell phone number? I, I changed my home number, my home cell phone mm -hmm. number. Mm -hmm. And I don't have you in it anymore. And mm -hmm. uh and I miss you terribly. So thank you for being here. I really appreciate you being here. Truly, Zach is Zach is old school. Zach is, if any of you remember when we used to do shows with Grace, Zach came on from Hawaii, and he had roosters uh, in the background, and we just lost it because we were like, "Where the fuck are you? Like, seriously, where are you?" I can do a show from I can do a show from Ebor and have roosters in the background. <laughs> You could, you, you could, babe, you could, you could, but it wouldn't be in your backyard. It's not like make, you make it reminiscent. <laughs> <laughs> but Zach is a wonderful human being. And so, no, you don't know Zach. You just don't. He's really, really old school. Zach is old school OG uh, listener and radio gunker. That's all. That's all I got. All right. So, yeah, we go on. We move on so to... The thing about him being in this house, though, let's all remember that this is 18, 
thousand square feet of living space. So basically, it's like being in a giant resort all weekend. Hundred percent. It's you resort never, lifestyle. You, you literally hey, hey, don't well, have to walk anywhere because I mean, you could walk for twenty minutes in your own home and still be in your own home. Yeah. Hey, Mo, uh, I put some, uh, that uh, that video of him in the private chat if you want to use it. If not, it's cool. Which video? What are we talking about? So, uh, Mr. Busy, stressed out, um, too much time. Okay. Okay. It's pertinent to the conversation. Oh, yeah, that. Yes. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get Yeah, hey, you can do it. I mean, just... Just get, want to give you something. Just in case you were wondering what he was busy with this weekend. He's really busy. Look at this. You have to mute it. He's getting his head massaged. He loves it. Every single night. He purrs while he does it. See? Well, I just brushed him, and he has as much fur coming off him as he did before. It's like an endless he amount. sheds a lot. sheds a lot. Oh, Walter boy. He loves it. You love it. Tell everyone. Loves, Walter, you're in the movies. You. You're in the movies right now. Who in says that? Very handsome boy. Look at the look how handsome this guy is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He knows he's good looking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's it like to be so good looking, Walter? You wouldn't huh? know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that's his weekend, just in case you were wondering. This is a guy wow. who's he was literally saying that he doesn't have time to do anything a couple so, of days before that. I, I wonder how many of his three daughters, how many of those did he sit there and brush their hair? Never. Zero. Exactly. That's a different kind of pussy he don't mess with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so obviously he was busy. And uh, then he starts talking about his dad. You know. Uh, there's a guy who couldn't log into our website who happens to be a psychologist. And I asked him tonight if he wanted to um, participate in a show just to talk about his uh, Howard's dad issues and issues that he had, like just the whole thing. And uh, I'll see if he responds. I, <clears throat> I just did that before we came on, on air, but um, I'd be interested in a new psychiatrist, not D uh telling us what what their thoughts are you know we'll have time next week because i have a feeling he's off being he's cleaning out the computers tomorrow i know that's kind of weird that he's doing cleaning out the computers well it Mar it's beginning in march he's been on for a few weeks and remember less is less with his world he was, off, uh, he was off last week monday he, he has Doesn't almost he put was... in 10 hours of work this month come on give him a break. it's too much it's too much he's tired it's it's, it's... Get on the loud Get on the pendejo. he'll take off next week and then he'll take spring break Later so, in the month, <laughs> he was talking about his dad. He was talking about, I don't even know where the conversation started. I, I don't even know if Dennis can help me with where the conversation started. Right. Maybe I'm talking about his dad who used to go down in the basement and do like some woodworking, and that his dad never allowed him mm -hmm. to enjoin him with his woodworking or engage with him with his hammer and chisel and all that stuff. And I kind of think that maybe this was Ben's just get away kind of Zen thing, you know, just something he did for him. Like you, Dennis, with your Mopar. Like, exactly. It, 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 it was like your thing. Yeah. Ben enjoyed doing woodwork and he remember Ben built Howard <laughs> a stage for his puppets, <laughs> a full on stage with curtains and everything. So he actually wasn't a bad woodworker. And he did that. It, it's relaxing. Not for Howard, though. Let's listen. No, of course. When he hit, hit the hammer with the, he never would say to me, Howard, I would like to share my world with you. Come from here, what I son. understand, <laughs> from what I understand, Eddie Van Halen was so kind to his son Wolfgang that Wolfgang can now play every instrument. He plays drums. One of the reasons uh, Wolfgang's such a good guitar player is because he's a drummer. So what? Uh, uh, what? What? <clears throat> yeah, he equated himself. Yeah, it's himself. funny when you don't have to go to school and your dad's a multimillionaire, and he's, there's a studio there. Yeah, you you can't pick up a couple of instruments. Well, what else was he doing? Is, Studying for the idiotic, SATs. But that's an idiotic statement to say because you're a drummer, you're a good guitarist. There are plenty yeah, of guitarists dude, that can't play drums. 
I don't like, think Yingwei Malmsteen plays that. guitar. Eddie, like he plays drums. Eddie was so generous with his time. So loving and generous Jesus. with his time that he actually taught his child to play shit. It's like, okay, you know what? There's a lot of rock stars out there. Even you, like you, but you know, to this of Depeche Mode's daughter is a singer who plays guitar. Because you know, a lot of times when you grow up in a family where you have musicians and people are musically inclined, it's something that you kind of pick up. It just do you, do you, do you know what Eddie didn't teach Wolfie? How to eat a salad. <laughs> he, did, he didn't teach him exercise. <laughs> Wolfie's on crouton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll keep on mac and cheese. You know what? The dude, have you seen his wife? He just got married. Mm -mm. Like, like talk about just like, it's worse than Beth and Howard. Like this chick is like smoking hot and the dude looks like Grimace. Well, <laughs> I mean, you know, first you get the money. Dude, I'm then not, you get I'm the not power. Fat you know what? He, you know, no, you no kid wing. had more goodwill. Then Wolfie did all the fans. You know, he's Eddie's kid. We love him. I'm not, and then he got a Twitter account. And oh, then he just proved what like a complete the number 10 model he is. They're the number 10. Look, one, zero. <laughs> Some girls like the little extra, uh, you know. A little fluff and nutter. A little fluff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe he's a project. Oh, look, the number 100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, um, she's, nut she's nuts. I didn't you realize know, how nuts she is, but she, here's the thing: Valerie's crazy. People that. even still liked him after they kicked out Michael Anthony for him. People was like, oh, "Okay, it's not really." Once again, once he got a Twitter account, people were ju he just he they were like, "Oh, I'll do this," and he's like, F "Like fuck you, I'm not gonna play that." Blah, just a total douchebag to everybody. Just a little conceited little bitch. It's and a then, club. You're exactly right. So then, good feeling was gone. Woodworking requires sharp tools. You're not going to let your kid accidentally cut their fingers off. Could you no. Could you imagine Howard with anything sharp? No. no. About that. Even now. <laughs> I just envision him being such a gigantic pain in the ass child. Like, seriously. Oh, oh like, yeah. That annoying, whiny, needy pain in the ass. Oh, absolutely. And the interesting thing is that he is his father's child. Because how many times did he go sit down in the basement with Ralph, not let his children in? And uh, well, for different, for well. Different various reasons. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like you're bitching about what your dad did, but you in turn did the exact same thing to your family. You hid the worst, though, because you were down there with another man. Yeah. Playing like, closer. I, uh, Yes. Playing closer by nine inch nails. Exactly. While going on gay chat sites. <laughs> All right, let's move on. So uh you know, I I started to record this and then I didn't get the second part of it, but Howard claims that he has read every single rock book that there is. And the only one who didn't <laughs> read yeah, okay. He doesn't really read books sure. and he admits that it's actually he listens to books, and I can I can almost see him going to bed at his usual like eight or nine o'clock and falling asleep to a book and not really paying any attention to it. I think that's what happened. Here we go. They put out a book. I'll, I'll listen to it. So I think I've gone through every book. Every one. And the only book every left one. was a new book by Getty Lee of Rush. Oh. And, uh, you know, I, I've been vocal about it. I, I don't, I admire any musician, but I'm not a big Rush fan. So mm. then he is the target. And then he has the really disgusting animal like John Hine come on to throw his. Oh. Yeah, because he's such a music um, oh. aficionado. aficionado. Um, the thing is, all show, because we'll have more clips later, all show was pushing for Getty Lee. It's all of a sudden he's on this list of top 10 wants. And I have a feeling that he'll never come on this show. I, I, I just, there's no reason. Really? I mean, what? Unless yeah. he's promoting something or he's got a best or something or but he has a then. channel, maybe a channel on Sirius. A I don't Rush know. channel, really? Yeah. What are you going to play on a Rush channel? 
Tom Sawyer over and over again. I mean, seriously. Subdivisions? Subdivisions. I mean, there's really not a lot going on there. That's the only song I like by Rush, Subdivisions. Aren't they from Canada? Yes, they are. That's, yeah. No way. I, they're from they're Canada. From Canada. Yeah, well, you know, they the need to be Canada. That. Nobody needs to be played. All right, shut up, assholes. I don't really care about Rush. It's not even something I... I mean, I've seen them like, in concert, but that's only because Primus was opening for them. Oh, that's nice. Primus was opening, so I, I saw Primus and, uh, and I'm like, uh So funny. I have a weird obsession with Primus because they did a entire version of Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Really? And sounds like Primus. Oh, my God, it's so bizarre. I don't even know how to articulate to you Primus Willy Wonka. I love Primus. Oh my God, Primus is amazing. Phenomenal band. Absolutely phenomenal. Seeing them live is absolutely mind-numbing. Because it's, it's just, they do... With Les Claypool just, with that five-string bass. Um, yeah, it just, he just does stuff with that. It's like, crazy good. I'm just going to give you a snurch of it. I know it's probably going to get kished, but I don't really even give a shit. Can we beg Les Ma? not to do anything? Here we go. Hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the chocolate room. So sick. Suffice it to say, it goes on like this, and it is <laughs> no, they're uh, fantastic. Such a trippy, ridiculous oh, yeah. CD. I, I really, I, I can't. I, I need to go find that. Um, you know, there was a chance. There was a small chance that he was going to join Metallica after Cliff Ooh. left, mm-hmm. and he. And the best part of that documentary when <laughs> he talks about what when what he we went on there and he, and, Where and are he tried we? out for them, babe. Who's they? Who's them? Where are we? Les Claypool, you know the Primus mm-hmm. guy you were just playing. Yeah, he aud- he auditioned when Cliff left uh, Metallica. Well, okay. he kind of and... died. <laughs> no, no, well, okay, who's the guy after Cliff? Um, I'm not uh, Metallica guy. Whoever, whenever that dude left, uh, they did auditions and Les Claypool tried out, and they were just kind of freaked out by him. Yeah, he's a little, he's a little out there. <laughs> and he's he's like playing. After, something like Jason Newstead, yes. Uh, Jason, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank Jason you. Newstead, thank you. And John he's Doe. like, after, afterwards, you like, uh, do you guys know any Idly, Idly Brother tunes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big fan, big fan of Primus, big fan of Primus. Yeah. All right, so let's move on. I don't even know Howard knows who Primus is. To be oh, honest. he has no clue. He doesn't have an idea at all who Primus is. So the 69 IQ then asks this um, incredible question. You know, it's, you only need 20 seconds to know how stupid he is. Here we go. Speaking of NASA, uh, do we have somebody on the moon right now? <laughs> there was some uh, thing that landed on the moon this past weekend. I don't With know. With people which in one it, right? It no, there weren't people oh. in it. Hmm. Oh my God! I I heard that. I I literally I, I just dropped. I I actually literally dropped the cup because I'm like, there's no way, there's no way that was somebody's that stupid. There is the but way. Then again, Howard. Well, <laughs> there is a way. There is a way. There is a way. He's, he's a it's I, I that is a moron. That is a true moron. Everyone. Yes. Apparently, as we found out today, he got a 900 on his SATs, which is... I remember. 900 was also with coaching. Lots of coaching. So... so He might have gotten a 700 without it. Love you guys. I've probably read 150 books by musicians. The most interesting one was My Infamous Life by Prodigy of Mob Deep. Oh, really? Really? I would read that. I think the most interesting one I ever read was by... um, what the hell's her name? Uh, the skinny heroine looking chick who was best friends with the gay photographer dude. And wow. That's like everybody. You know, you yeah, have that to- really narrowed it down to every chick in the 90s. That's really what- close. <sighs> That's why they call it dope. Seriously. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What are you, you know talking, what about? talking about? What are no. you talking about, Willis? 
it's this chick. She's actually written two or three books. She's actually an incredibly, um, uh, yes, she was best friends with, with, with Maplethorpe. Yes, yes, yes. What's her name? She's the, she's the seventies chick with the black hair. And she is incredibly famous. Can you name a tune? Can you like? Uh, yeah, Nahamatoon. Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, Stop. Fiona the- Apple is like the default for the no, 90s. No, 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 no. It's not 90s. I didn't say it was 90s. She's like a 70s chick. Oh, and 70s? She's still alive. And she has that dark black hair. She, hair? she lived at the Chelsea Hotel. And. Uh... She- Best friends with Robert Maplethorpe and Patty Smith, not Smythe, Jack and Rod. Oh, thank you so Patty much. Smythe. No, no, Patty Smith, not Patty Smythe. Oh, Patty Smith, not Patty Smythe. Smythe oh, is, is, is uh, married to John McEnroe. It's Patty Smith. No, John McEnroe was married to Tatum O'Neill, wasn't he? Yes, and then he married Patty Smythe. He's oh, okay. been around. Sorry, I'm not. Really? Up- Am I crazy now? So, I'm not up to snuff, I guess. Robert so, Maplethorpe I, was a very, very famous photographer. Back oh, the goodbye to you, the chick from Scandal. Yeah, he's married to her. Oh, oh okay. okay. You, know, you could have just said the. You should have said the chick from Scandal. But it's not the chick from Scandal. He said Patty Smythe, and I said no, not Patty Smythe. Patty Smith. Patty Smith. So it was wrong. So here is Robert Maplethorpe. Here he is with Patty Smith, back in the day. Um, they used to hang together all the time. Um, they weren't lovers. Obviously he was gay and she was like, you know, the rocker chick Obviously. and she Obviously. wrote a most amazing book about her life, uh, with him and with rockers of the seventies and the whole thing. And it was actually fantastic. It was really, uh, an amazing, amazing. Okay. Read. Yeah. Wow. Was- I actually like heaven and hell by Don Felder. That was actually a very good book. Oh, that that sounds interesting. Yeah, because he wrote Hotel California and got screwed out of singing it by uh, Henley because Henley is an asshole. But that's we all know that. <laughs> so there's so, that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she looks a little strung out there. To read. I kind of feel like they are all strung. I've been out. practicing. Yeah, and then it goes through like his boyfriend. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you know, weird. Okay, please, guys, really, can you grow up just a little bit? No, No, I can't. Well, I'm always gonna be a Toys R Us kid. Right. Uh, You know, you don't say anything when Howard Puzzle doesn't appreciate your attitude right now. Puzzle puzzle doesn't really. Puzzle's not really into me right now. Yeah, she turned around. She went the other way now. (laughs) I think Puzzle's dead. There is no motion in puzzle right now. Yeah, that's what they do. It's like it's like Monty Python on poker. Hey, hey, d- can you not break the illusion, please? Poker again, poker again. I think that the puzzle's in Michigan right now, broadcasting. <laughs> He's purring. You can see a purring. <laughs> puzzle, t- puzzle. Puzzle's got no kind of shit for a puzzle poke. It's an official puzzle poke. <laughs> uh, okay. So then- Wouldn't it be cool if Puzzle had a dentist puppet? <laughs> That'd be cool. I'm so glad you reminded me because I don't think I showed this last week and I saved it so that I could. Oh, oh, oh my God. Wait, hold on. With this? I'm scared. I'm just scared. You should be. This was so funny last week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear (laughs) Christ. Oh, Jesus. Holy holy nightmares. (laughs) I'm going to have nightmares. (laughs) That's going to replace the white whale in my dreams. Christ, that replaces falling now is the worst thing I can think of while I'm sleeping. (laughs) Sleep paralysis demon, exactly. (laughs) I just thought that was so funny. I saved it to my desktop, and I was like, "Oh my god, I gotta bring that up." At that's, some that's great. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. The hair looks more natural on me than it does the actual owner. I think that was cousin Chips. I'm not really sure who that mm-hmm. was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably. probably. 112 percent yes. Yeah, because he's a dick that way, and I love it. Yes, he is. Yes, I love everything about it. Um. <laughs> 
Okay. All right. So I think this was Cancer Mentions. I wrote that, but I don't think it is. But let's back hear back. it. I know, but let's hear it and let me see what I got. Uh, who knows what's up there? Yeah, you know, anything. Oh, oh. Anything. Can Maybe. Be what? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. This is just Robin. The yeah. thing made of. Maybe it's a cheese. cure for cancer. It's made of cheese, Robin. Who knows? Is what you're well, saying. Is that what you're saying? I, I don't know. That sounds. I always thought that plant-based things would be where you'd find the cure for cancer, but it's possible. They're using all of those chemicals right now that, you know, right. some like, like the, the platinum drug, that, that's real platinum they're using. I would have thought by now we'd have um, warp speed like in Star Trek and we'd be like oh, even outside of our own universe, but uh, outside of our yeah, own universe. beam every place. I don't our know universe, not not our galaxy, our universe. Yeah, our universe, exactly. Why the what crab, idiot. our solar system, something realistic. By the way, the Crab Nebula is not even in our universe, is it? No, it's oh, in a different. It's in a different universe. Mute yourself, because you said something really stupid. <laughs> crab Nebula is uh, it's outside of our galaxy. Galaxy, the universe, gal- universe is everything. The universe it's is everything. Yeah, exactly, it's another galaxy. You you can't really leave the universe. That's what I meant. That's what the I meant. universe is kind of big. It's really big. It's really big. Uh, let's move on. Let's hear how we're talking about how we got a 900 on the SATs. Moron. <laughs> I think when I took the SATs, I just, like someone said, most answers are C because it's multiple choice. And I just filled everything in C. Uh, and, my gra- and my grade reflected it. I think I had like a <laughs> 900. No, that's not true. You know, it's really hard to get a 900. It's you really be a moron. And he is. On each side. Of the equation, I mean, really, it's hard mm-hmm. to get nine hundred. Mm-hmm. You get two hundred for your name, right? Ex- exactly. Yeah. On so each side, on each side, like four hundred is probably like the starting point for pretty much everybody. Mm-hmm. So, so nine fifty is moron. It's kind of still weird to me how he got into Boston University. Uh, it's called donations. I don't know, but does dad really have donation yes, money? Yes, he did. Do, do, he had donation money. Yes, he did. What? Yeah, absolutely. Remember, he owned the music, he owned the studio, and then he had major companies coming in. He actually made real scratch. He paid cash for his houses. He didn't have a mortgage. He paid cash for those houses. Do we he know that? But well, you make a five thousand dollar donation or a ten thousand dollar donation, and your slow kid can get in there. Five thousand is a lot though. I know, I but that's a, lot. Hey, that's a lot in the early 70s. I can't I understand even... that, but drop five grand and, you know, get your moron son in. So into, into, into uh 13th grade. I feel like he, I feel like he knew somebody. Like, I feel like there was like a know somebody thing going on. But there was, there was no. money too. He bought in also. Into that school. And the only reason I believe he went there is because that's where Dr. Lou was going. Because he probably had no, he probably had no idea as where to go. So he just went where the syphilis nebula is. And let's remember, he got that he got that score after tutoring. <laughs> if he didn't get tutored, he would have gotten a seven hundred. I wonder how John Hine feels about that being the SAT uh, tutor it, that he was. He wasn't an automaton. He would actually give a real human answer to that question. Unfortunately, he won't. He no, can't. And he never won't. will. He never will. No, he never will. Um, let me see. What's my next thing here? But you know what, though? He's such a heel. If someone's going to do a tell-all book, it's going to be John Hine. With the right money. Yeah. Once it's over. Once it's over. Oh, absolutely. He, he's such a heel. He has no loyalty. I hate John Hine. <laughs> well, you should. He, he is a he is vile a human being. Vile, despicable human being. Yeah. Not despicable. I mean, I don't know anything oh, about. He's despicable. He Boring. stole. He stole ideas from other people. Yeah, yeah. and made money on them and okay. did not credit them. That's despicable. Yes. Yes, it really is. Yes. I don't know what this clip is. Okay, um, it. It's called. Special was amazing. Oh, I think it's about Jelly Roll. Maybe. Oh, the commercial. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hi, Sue M. Sue M's the best. Sue M comments oh. on every single podcast that we do, and she does it kind of late in the game. So I never go back to make sure that I like what she's talked about. So uh, apologies in advance, Sue M. Um, 
I love that. The my slow kid donation to Radio Gunk. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Specials like songs I want to hear alone make my serious subscription worth it. It Oh, okay. This is letters from. Yeah. (laughs) So, as you know, that weird dude was on last week. (laughs) And the name of the special. I believe is songs I want to hear. Songs I want to hear. The worst name ever for any type of broadcast anywhere. So the letter that he gets from a listener says, uh, sorry, I didn't even know what the buildup was to this letter. Clip. The letter that he got from somebody says the following about this stupid guy <clears throat> who I never knew of until last week. Dear named- Howard, I... <laughs> <laughs> who's the guitarist for uh what's his face right uh, 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 uh rob zombie american nightmare dude and because who wants to hear from him number one but let's hear his music quasar mass hi thank you Quasar-Mass. so much and he has a cool car he has a old, one of the old baller mercedes quasar the big boys he got a baller mercedes from the 90s man oh cool it's, i noticed you baller that, uh, you just put out a um a YouTube tonight, as a matter of fact. All right, yes, I did. I, now- I've been I've been having lots of fun with my car. Cool. We'll come back. All right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is the note that he gets about that special. Now it makes now now it has so much more meaning. By the way, so much more meaning. Like songs I want to hear alone make my serious subscription worth it. It was so cool of John to do this. He's in a great band. His wife. But that special alone. Makes my serious subscription. Ten dollars well, a month to hear some tool play songs on his guitar. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what kind of songs John Five. I don't even know if I can get that special. Can I? It, it, it probably is no longer available because they ran out of space. Mm. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Tens of people really loved it. Howard Stern. Mm-hmm. I, I the only listeners were his family and his family. <laughs> Howard Stern History, Sternthology, Saturday Soundtrack, Summer School. Where would one even find this? I have no show? idea. It was on Friday. Uh, the, I guess it was Friday. Um, it's on 101, the, the Wasteland. Here we are. Songs I want to hear by John Five. All right, let's see. Uh, I've got to it. <laughs> oh my god, he's he's so dickish looking too. It's a oh, video as well. I don't want to hear him. Um, okay, so let's hear the songs. Um, let's see. Queen, The Police, Motley Crue. ACDC, Les Paul, Kiss, The Kinks, Van Halen, Hendrix, Ray Charles. All right. So what he did, because there was 69 played parts of that special because of the fake note they got written in. And this guy literally just played segments of those songs on his guitar. He didn't play those songs. He just played the guitar part of those songs on his guitar. Oh, right. So that's what How I'm boring. I, that's what I'm actually looking at here. I'm John Five, and I am a guitarist and super, super Jesus Christ. Ew. Okay, so what that's happened the, there. I got nothing. I got wow. A, so those glasses were really cool, what, in the uh, early 2000s? And Bono. Did them Bono and had them. Yes, yes, yes. That's pretty much, pretty much. A long time ago. <laughs> um Bond just wanted us to know that apparently Fred told Howard to buy an orange guitar amplifier. Just so you know, orange makes an excellent amplifier. The crush part is the model of that amplifier. The orange crush. Oh. Okay. I wasn't even understanding what he was talking to me about, but now I now I now I yeah, do. I have a I have slight knowledge of, of, of musical instruments. My brother plays guitar, so Oh, interesting. Yes. 
And he, right. he, he tells me these things, and sometimes I just kind of glass over because it's so and, I, and you see the words coming out the other side of my head at you. Like, yeah. so. he, make, he actually makes pedals, too. He actually makes effects pedals and everything. It's like he knows the, 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 the theory behind it. I'm like, it's, it's I know cool. the wah-wah pedal. That's all I know. <laughs> like, yeah, I, just, I, just, I just tuned my carburetor. <laughs> I got nothing. Um, <laughs> all right, here's the two Robin Cancer mentions. So kind of weird he's been bringing up her cancer more recently like as a not that robin had cancer but robin has cancer so just two times in 22 seconds here we go and then robin goes you know i have cancer and i go can we talk about me for once <laughs> i mean you can't keep you know, of course you're going to there's no reason. I say always. Why? Let's put this in perspective. Right. <laughs> no, but there's no reason why I shouldn't be allowed to complain just because Robin has cancer. Why? Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't want that bad juju, so you guys can comment. I, I mean, I, I just find it very weird. Um, I mean, it's. It, Unless it's getting bad, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. It's just really strange. You know what I mean? Well, his two favorite go-to's: one is dead, his dad. The other one might as well be dead. So he's um, is Robin and Beth. You are on the clock. And Beef Cause, obviously you know Cause, doesn't want to be talked isn't about. Start knocking himself. He doesn't do that anymore. Or pretend no, he doesn't. To. So it's going to be the next two. To a line of sight, motherfucker. You know, <laughs> it's gonna be Beth and Robin are the easiest oh, marks. So they did a show today, and they haven't posted. Today is the twenty sixth. They post twenty yes. fifth about Jack Black. Who? Two thousand nine visit to the film show. They posted the Meat Puppets performing Johnny Cash Tennessee Stud. Wait, wait, the Meat Puppets in nineteen ninety five. Yeah, that's a that's relevant. Um, there he is. And there's wow. that photo. Uh, John Hine and Stern Show reposted it on the 23rd. Wow, that wow. is a John. freaky looking group there. Hey, yeah. ladies, <laughs> yeah, they're, <all> exactly. <laughs> they're taken. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Conan yeah. O'Brien, 1994. Wow, that's just the other day. Yeah. And here's yeah. the promo for it. And there's Tina. But that's it. That's Tina. what you get. One, let me see how many clips are there in Gen Z. One, two, three, four. Wow. Five. Wow. Six. Seven. Wow. Seven John Cena clips for us. Wow. Too, for our liking. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way how it rolls. All right, let's move on. Um mm, Okay, so last week we mentioned that we couldn't believe that um, Howard never mentioned that John Cena was like so big in the Make a Wish thing, and in no. case that of course, of course, yeah, man. we had a whole discussion about uh, Make a Wish, and basically, John Cena has the record for the most Make a Wishes. Wow, um, he has had. Uh, 650 since 2002. Okay, that's a lot. Six that is a lot. Yeah. Make a wishes. Six hundred. Do you think those kids feel used? Yeah, I, thought I was the only one, John. It's it's just for me that WWE. Well, I mean, felt. but listen to what Howard says. That's more important. This yes, is, yes, that's what I'm getting with this. Okay, so so here's Howard's take. On the Make a Wish thing and the reason that he didn't mention it while he was on. He, was he, he didn't listen to us. Well, I purposely didn't bring it up in the John Cena interview, but why? John Cena has why? the record for doing the most Make a Wish. He'll take kids with cancer who possibly are dying. Possibly. <clears throat> he meets with two or 300 kids a year. No, he doesn't. So basically, he's met with 650 since 2002. Okay, so that's 21 years. Yeah, he's met with 650 kids. He doesn't meet with 300 a year, that's a thousand a day. 
stupid it's fuck. like 30 it's like 30 a year 30, it's like thousand a day which is more than anybody else has done okay so this is like above and beyond but you know, yeah, you know how many more that is than howard 650 but please do go on about how many people 300 kids a year wow a year. Uh, on a regular bed now here's a guy you know he's busy i didn't bring it up because it makes me look bad if you know i, I know mean, what I are you mean, gonna say <laughs> okay mo yeah babe okay once again someone listens to a show from the stern show and they pull ideas so that in mind let's do a little experiment can you go into the private yes. chat for a second okay go to the last link i, I just sent you okay I, saw that. I just want to give the ap producers some content for tomorrow okay okay can you bring that up so for to share with our audience real quick please okay what? so this is um, a baboon on an airplane <laughs> flying back from miami who is not doing his job so uh Howard, so tomorrow or Wednesday, whichever is easier for you, make sure you bring this picture up and uh, tear uh, the monkey a new one. Coming Let's home see. from Miami, the pie. Oh, he's like, Beth, that's so cute. Why didn't he let you sit on his Wait. lap and, and fly the airplane? Yeah, he didn't sit on the pilot's lap. The pilot <laughs> invited me into the cockpit to take a picture. Don't worry. We were on the ground. Uh, so now... Since since Howard took that whole John Cena charity thing that we talked about, now he can talk about that instead. Let's oh, see is oh, yeah, and we have the picture of the woman that uh, got cut out of this picture. Yeah, I love that big bubble no. going on. Yeah, here. but she, she, that's on the right hand Amish, with the Amish fingernails. And well, the that. thing is, though, she's gripping him pretty good. Uh, I don't. This is, just, this is just professional courtesy. Yes, so of course. You, now no, you I, can. Uh, you masculate sure. Gary for the update time. Yeah, Stern Show, can you talk about the time where Beth got to sit on the pilot's um, on the lap? Yeah. lap? Oh, that's, that's exactly. You, in the flight of plane. Flight? plane. In the Middle no, East. No, no, she's not, she's not a hoe. No. In the Middle East. Can I? Can I? See, it's so hard to blow up when you're on this. Yeah, did, did, did Beth say, hey, I didn't know these airplanes had a manual transmission? <laughs> That's what I felt. Okay, so it's American Airlines. So this you know what? That looks like uh Jason if he didn't have an extra chromosome. <laughs> God <laughs> Gary really Gary is brutal. Gary Fagi is bruta. Fagi bruta. <laughs> you know what? If if the 911 uh terrorists were to run into that cockpit, they go, they got three monkeys. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> They have a tech a gorilla in there. Sorry. 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 <laughs> 9 11 would have been <laughs> so, so yeah, so okay. So then we have a jelly roll promo. Speaking of jelly roll, commercial and, yes, yes. Uh, fluff up a little high with, with jelly roll. So this is a nice <laughs> you know he must be coming in. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> what are you still chuckling about, Xavier? Uh, Hang on, I'll bring it up. Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. The Loch Ness del Bate. <laughs> <laughs> Ever seen a grown man naked? Ah. <laughs> Ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> Wait, you're Kareem Abdul Jabbar. <laughs> no, I'm not, kid. You got me mistaken. You play for Los Angeles Lakers. My, my dad said you don't play, try hard enough, except during the playoffs. Hey kid, how would you like to carry Bill Walton back and down for back and down the court all day That's long? Here, yeah, up, up and down the court for forty whatever minutes. For forty for forty five minutes. Okay, airplane fans. Um, we're gonna move on to the Jelly Roll promo. Apparently, he has something on Hulu, Gosh. and it's uh, <laughs> excuse me, I speak Jav. <laughs> I know you do, Xavier. Go ahead, bunch of no, talk. no, that's what Frank said. I'm just yeah, I know. We know. I do. I know you do. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, hey. Chump don't want to help. Chump don't get no help. <laughs> Come on some slack, Jack. I, I'm an original dummy. I dug a rap. Okay. Can I love that? <laughs> Cut Cut lame, lame to the bone. Tightly. <laughs> Can I love on that clip just a little bit? Uh, yeah, it's the greatest clip ever in movies. <laughs> Excuse me, I speak Jive. Wait, hold on a second. The radio's all. Okay, hang on. 
Sorry. Sorry for the digression yet again. Yours. That's still one of the best movies. That number three engine gauge over there. It's running a little hot. Stryker, before we start, I'd like to say something. I know that right now things what must be clear. Clip. It's the wrong clip. You do what I tell you. And I tell yeah. you to do it. There's like a million clips of it. No, that, that's not. Oh, there you go. Oh, over back. oh there, 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 there it is. There it is. I got it. I got it. Mm-hmm. Can I get you? Lay to the bone. It's a mofo, but a lay to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't understand. Cuddy say it can't hang. Oh, Cuddy say it can't hang. I think This is Ward. You said that he's in great pain and he wants to know if you can help him. All right. Would you tell him to just relax and I'll be back as soon as I can with some medicine? Just hang loose blood. Just hang loose blood. She's going to catch up on the rebound on the medicine. It is big mama. My mama didn't raise no dummies. I rap. Got me some slack, yeah. Something want to help? Chop. Go get that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You got no brains in here. Chump don't want the help. Chump ain't get no help. I love when he says, Cuddy can't hang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the way they introduce someone like, oh, imagine TC Bean. Oh, but you know, that is um, Barbara Billingsley. And yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what makes it amazing. Fever from that's Lee what made it so fever, <laughs> just yeah, Exactly. Point. Like it's, it's like literally perfection. It's perfection that she would be the person that did that. He, he, perfection. Actually, the other part of that movie that is so perfect, it was, it was Leslie Nielsen's first comedy. He was oh, a serious actor correct. up to that point. <laughs> and then he did that movie and he was perfect. Just brilliant. That's a brilliant movie. It's really perfect. It, it's, it's a building with patience, but that's not important right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, absolutely. To me, that and the the he's teaching uh, in the Peace Corps. We teaching those kids, those guys, how to play basketball. Yeah. <laughs> that to me. Perfect. If you look at that clip, not, they don't miss once. If that nope. sh- all those guys shooting the ball, that, uh, there's like literally one that goes off the rim, but all everything else just goes straight in. Like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Airplane, honestly, is one of the finest, um, finest ever made. It, it really is. So yeah. many cameos yeah. Yeah. in that. JJ Walker's in that. He's actually one of the guys working on the plane. He falls off oh, the yeah, ladder yeah. When he outside. Pops the hood? When he pops, oh, he really? pops the hood yeah. and he checks the oil. <laughs> Amazing. And he's, he's trying to close it and he just gets on it. <laughs> So, and then, like other religious people, like soliciting, yes, like, for Jesus, <laughs> like the Harry Kirsch does. Like that was uh, he was he was in right? Ski Hunt. I mean, he was a serious actor too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting it, that you all want to know that this is great. Uh, oh, I love this. I love, I love, I love this. Okay, so just d- d- diving a little deeper. I'm off striker, the airplane striker, track. Striker, striker, striker. I'm off the airplane <laughs> Right here when the chick's panicking and they're all lined up to beat the crap out of her. <laughs> the pipe wrench. All right, look at Uncle Larry. Uncle Larry made this clip, uh, made this on Twitter. Uh, Looks like Gary was all about meeting guys and girls when he was down Yeah, there. I guess so. He bet he cropped this woman out of the Instagram post with this. Mm-hmm. Oh. They look friendly, don't they? Is that not Mary? I don't know. No, that's not Mary. That's definitely not Uh-oh. Mary. That, that's and someone else. Very chummy. Uh, right. Roger, they huh? look quite chummy. What's your clearance, that? Clarence? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that woman? They uh, In the thread, they actually posted her uh, Instagram. Um, mm. uh, yeah. She's from out there. She lives out there. Yeah. She looks like Mary. Well, he has a type. He I does. have no idea who that is. But wait, no, wouldn't, wouldn't that the is. hand be in, in that picture? Huh? That is her hand. That's what That's we were her just hand. About, silly. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah. I don't speak monkey. Sorry. Jesus, who is Betty? B-E-T-T-I-E. Who is Betty? Mm, no. Oh. No, definitely not. Definitely not. That's definitely not who that person is. No. No. A little monkey, monkey. A little monkey out. A little monkey out. He take a lot of trips to the West Coast. You realize that, right? 
He's taking a lot uh, of Chris We mention it every time. It seems he's, out there, he's out there a bunch <laughs> for no apparent reason. Uncle uh, Larry, if well, you can Mary, Mary actually gives a crap at this point. No. no. She got I mean, the money. She don't care. Other than children, so it doesn't matter. She don't care. She got the money. Awesome, Betty. That is not Mary. That is 100% not Mary. No, that's Betty. I don't know who Betty is. Betty. But that's, that's Betty. That's Betty. The I Beverly got Hilton. Yeah, I got nothing. Mm -hmm. I, I look her up. We moved I, on from Melissa, I guess. If I hashtag Clive Davis. Such a cheater. <laughs> if I hashtag. Okay, okay. Let's let's land this plane. I'm, I'm, I'm weeding. <laughs> <laughs> let's land this plane. Yeah, I'm in the weeds. Yeah, I'm in the weeds. I'm in the weeds. I'm sorry. Ooh, Lana Del Rey. Is Flavor Flav? With Lana Del Rey looking a little rough there. Oof. Flavor Flav looks good. See, he looks the same. He never changes. He always looks the same. She does not look <laughs> yeah, good. He looked like an old dude like back in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Somebody needs to. Oh, and there's Oof, that. Uh, holy crap. Ice spice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, that's where Gary yeah, was. Yeah, boy. That's where Gary was hanging for the. Uh, yeah. He was. He was up, hanging. Get, get, definitely. Get down. 911's a joke in your town. All right. Here we go. So, Jelly Roll Promo, did he even do that yet? No. No, no, very, very play special. That. It's um, this guy who got out of jail, Jelly Roll. Got, He's on a big jail. career yes. high, Jelly Roll. He has a special on there where they follow him around. In this special, he walks in this Jelly Roll. He mentions his name three times at this point to a group of alcoholics and drug addicts. They're having a meeting, and he gives them he gives them inspiration. So we're gonna we're definitely gonna have Jelly Roll on at some point. Oh yeah, well, this is pay for play. Yes, because uh, Jelly Roll will be on. Yes. Um, they probably gave him a little cash to do the little promo. Yes, or a so, couple yeah. of donuts. So what I was trying to so get Howard was, Jelly Roll gets donuts too. I was trying to get to the next clip. So um, so bring back Jackie on Twitter. He was just uh, beside himself with the commentary that uh, Howard had made on the next clip. So he was talking about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and he was um, saying that uh, Kyle Richards is divorcing her husband, this guy named Mauricio, which you would never know dick about either of these people. I don't know who they are. It wasn't because... Kylie and Mauricio were kind of big on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And apparently in the latest season, they're talking about how they're getting a divorce and how they approach their kids about it. And that they had the kids on air basically talking about, you know, and he's like, I would never do that to my children and blah, 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 blah. But then he decides he's going to be the uh, agent. And here's what he decides he, he says about about this kid's thing. And Christmas together again as a family. <laughs> that seems to get your little daughter there crying a lot. I like it. All right. In three. One, two, three. Go ahead. Start with Christmas and let's keep going. All right. And kids, do something dramatic. Threaten to cut yourself. Okay. Oh, and awesome. A lot of the teens are cutting themselves now to so they can feel something. All right, yeah. yeah. Start vaping or something. You yeah, vape, <laughs> and, and kids act. Feel free to act out. Make sure you hydrate because the tears are drying up. Okay. So there's not a single human being out there, not a single solitary human being that would absolutely write in and say, yes, do more of your agent, do more of this character that you do. Nobody, there's nobody no, there's, there's no one asking who this. thinks that this is funny. And then the fact that you would then tell 16 year olds that are, are upset about yes. their parents getting a divorce, that they should cut themselves. Well, the best part of all is that he's so lazy that he's just doing the Asian voice as the director yes. of an episode of that of that show. Yeah. And and I mean, this is how irrelevant he is, though. This is where irrelevance really comes in. Anybody else that said that about a 16 year old would be absolutely just destroyed the absolutely. next day. Destroyed. Absolutely. Nothing's gonna happen because he's so irrelevant. No one cares. Yeah, and and bring back Jackie will constantly put everybody into it. 
everybody, yes. everybody, everybody who could possibly care about this from page six to, you know, variety to a Hollywood reporter, everybody. What am I missing here? Somebody on Twitter or Instagram joked that a 16 year old should be cutting herself because the parents were divorcing. Their account would be suspended. Absolutely. Yes. But sure, it's absolutely okay for him to do it. Absolutely. Okay. It's horrible. Cause it's outward. The joke is horrible. The commentary is atrocious. Everything about it is absolutely disgusting. I would have fast forwarded through it had I not read Bring Back Jackie's thing about it and 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 really just needed to make a kind of make a stand on it. That really that's disgusting, Howard. And I was shocked that he didn't delete it from his uh no. his next word. He's proud of it. He's proud of that incredibly he's so edgy. He's, yeah. Yeah, he's being edgy now. Rebel, rebel. Yeah, because he's agent, and so that's what you got. So, yeah, so then after that, which, and this is classic to me, I think this is, like, the funniest thing I think we've heard from him in a long time. So he starts talking about other people in the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and he's talking about Denise Richards and Denise Richards, <laughs> who, when you look her up, hold on, let's just get to her really quickly so you can yeah, show her now or then. Well, just now, okay, but just, oh, she sure just needs to know that she's 53 years old. Sure she then. was gorgeous. She's now not so much, but she's still a beautiful girl. I mean, there's, you know, there's sure, nothing, sure, sure. There's nothing sure, 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 sure. Yeah, we'll say that. Denise Richards. No, there's nothing wrong with Denise Richards. Mm. And when Denise Richards was in um, Starship Trooper, she was. Yeah. 1997. Stunning. She was a stunning, stunning girl. Yes. Stunning. I mean, stunning. yeah. 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 And I remember seeing that movie and saying, mother of God, she is like the most beautiful girl, you know? And she was, she's mm -hmm. absolutely yes. stunning. Now, so this movie, just so you know, is from what year? 19 1997. 1997. Yes. So let's listen. Keeps coming up. Let's hear what, he, what Howard has to say about Denise Richards in Storm Shirt Strippers. Here we go. Who was the girl who was married to uh, Charlie Sheen? Denise, Richard. oh, Denise Richards. Denise Richards. Yeah. Denise Richards. She's yeah. in it. Those were the two I recognized. So I can't tell you how many years I used to dream about fucking Denise Richards. You know, when I was a kid, I saw her in Starship oh, yeah. Trooper. I was. A, I, I, I didn't catch that part. Can you just create a life with, with for me where I fuck Denise Richards? I've never seen anything like it in Starship Trooper. She's taking a shower. She's naked. She's the hottest thing I ever saw. So you weren't a kid. He was so 43 40, years old. He was 43 when it came out. Yeah. Yep. And it was the same year that uh, Private Parts, Private came, Parts out, right? came out. Yeah. Yeah. He was 43 years old and, and fact, already married with three kids. But the he fact saw that he's kid. trying to convince anybody that he was a kid when a, a movie came out, when his movie came out, like, dude, you picked the most obvious, like, he is John, such, you, know, you know, I'll give John credit. He's denial of the fact that he's an old codger. I'll give John credit. He is trying to make it like he's one of us. That he's he's one he's a he, that he's a Gen X. Th yeah. That he's how not many, that he's not a boomer. That he's a Gen X. Throughout the years, how many times have we goofed around that sooner or later he's going to be talking about listening to to uh, Bieber when he was in high school? Exactly. I mean, here we he'll are. Become a millennial. Here we are. This time next year, he'll be. Like, I remember Ariana Grande when I was in grammar school. So here's the best part about this clip. Not even the fact that he mentioned it today, but then Xavier posted a thread about it, and there was also a, a Reddit thread about it. And somebody then posts to us this clip, which is so bizarre that this is something that he, I think he genuinely believes that she, at 53, is closer to 70 than she is to 50. I mean, it's just bizarre to me that he thinks that he's even in her age group. Here, this is a clip of him with Artie. Here we go. Okay, clip with Artie. I'm going to sit down. I'm anxious to talk to her because I became aware of Denise Richards back uh, years ago. I forget. I guess I was in college or whatever, or maybe. What? Yeah, yeah, She's I guess not was, that old. I guess I, I, guess, I don't Were know. you at her birth? I don't remember <laughs> when, when the movie Starship Troopers come out. Oh, in the ninety-eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Late nineties. I think. I think ninety-eight. Well, ninety-eight. I was. I don't know how old I was. <laughs> you know what's funny? Twenty-five, maybe. Yeah. No. You know what's funny? <laughs> I thought I, I used to. You know, I, I know I've beaten off to her in Starship Troopers, so I figured I must have done that in college 
or in, in high school. Right. Turns no out idea. I was, it was like 98. I mean, it was like four years ago or something. Well, maybe something could Google it. I don't know. As a matter, I, it's matter not of fact, that old, yeah. Starship Troopers uh, also had Casper Van Dien, whom you went up against for uh, Best Newcomer. For the what, Blockbuster Award. What year so, was the movie made? 97. Oh, 97. I was okay. a year off. I can't believe I was that close of knowing yeah. that. But I knew it was the so, late night. So you're, talking about, you're talking about 12 years ago, okay? So I thought I was beating off to that movie <laughs> like when I was a teenager. That's why I no. started in high school. You were 46. I was like, uh, yeah. Howard, she's not that old. Yeah, I, I'm 46 years old and I'm beating off to Starship Trooper. <laughs> Actually, okay. Wow. I, okay. Even Puzzle got up for that. Yeah, she she's and and she's commenting. Yes, she yeah. is. Well, that's a puzzle comment if we ever saw one. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's it's Mike, appropriate. It is very appropriate. I, I mean, the, the absolute ridiculousness of this what, what of him trying to make himself like he is under fifty. She this this Denise Richards is about Beefus's age. Yeah. Yeah, 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 pretty close. Pretty Literally close. in the same age group, like you know, they would. She's fifty three. Beth yeah. is fifty two. Fifty two. Yeah. Fifty two. Yeah. 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 yeah so. Mm, mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And you know she's gorgeous. I mean, she has that class. Oh, yeah. What do, you, girl. what do you just think it is? I mean, he 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 can't accept the fact that he is as old as he is, right? No, he is can't. That what it is? It no, can't he be can't. Anything else. Because the first thought is like, oh, it's cognitive decline, but I don't know. He just seems like he's just a mm. narcissistic weirdo. He is a narcissistic weirdo. Remember, he doesn't admit that he has at least one grandchild. Yeah, I mean, he he yeah, hides yeah. that. He mentioned it once, and he never mentions it again. He's seventy years old. You, by the way, I can almost guarantee you that um, that Ashley is probably going to get pregnant fairly. Uh, I think she is already. I think she already is pregnant again. Uh, she's pregnant, uh, but I think the other one. Um, Oh, uh, what's her name? Um, the but middle she only one. only does it in the butt. Deborah. Deborah. I think Deborah's ready to have another one. Deborah's old. How she have to she, one? She's, no, or she's or in her thirties. She can pop out another kid Deborah, in your thirties. Deborah, Deborah's pretty old. Deborah is is the middle one. Oof. Uh, yeah, Deborah. Still... Yeah. Deborah. Still... <laughs> yeah, that's Deborah right there on the oh, right. God, she's she's not not she can have another kid. She's not popping. Sure. Not popping. Ashley's gonna have a big. Sure? I think. I don't think that Deborah's. Uh, you think Deborah just said the one and she's done. Deborah did one and done. Just one yeah. half Vietnamese kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is he, exactly. Yeah. Is Howard he gonna, half Vietnamese. Does, does he go to the in laws and talks about all the ears he cut? Uh, I bet he looks, checks out that kid's ears every day. So then they got into a conversation about Machine Gun Kelly, which was. Oh. I mean, if anybody hasn't seen it, we'll talk about it after the clip. Hang on. Here we go. Look at oh, that. my goodness. It's like yeah. he's wearing clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah. Crazy. crazy. Uh, hey, hey, the boy can do what he wants. He's a successful guy, but I think he might regret that, that one. That one. I don't know. He's not going to be that kid. age forever. Ooh, good looking. <laughs> That's what you've got to think about. You know, people used to tell me, "No, they didn't." Don't get a tattoo because when you're old, you'll regret them. You know, because no. You're what? I'm old now, and I don't regret my tattoos. I'm... I think you get we're old when you got. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So if you want to see what Machine Gun Kelly did to himself, just in case you missed this, so that's what he used right. to look like. He, when... he used to look like the comics on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and I've seen worse, to be honest with you, because a lot of kids you these have? days. Are, are literally That's taking pretty... a mark and writing on themselves and then tattooing that. I mean, it looks like shit. Uh, I, I don't know. That's pretty bad. I Isn't mean, what he bad? has on him is bad. This is pretty bad. That's pretty and bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something controversial right now. Okay. 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 And that is that I think he looks better. Better with this. I think he looks better. All right. It looks actually that does look less crazy than having random stuff put I mean, on your you body. Have, like just some of it kind of peeking out. He almost looks like a goddamn superhero. I mean, it's, it's insane. It's an yes. insane amount of ink and it's an insane thing to do to yourself, including like your nipples and everything. But Oh yeah. Oh, ooh. Kind of has like a weird superhero vibe to it that I'm absolutely digging 
as compared um, to this. Just out of curiosity, what superhero would that be? <laughs> be the white trash. Is he, is he the, the, the black twink? Meth, meth boy. Meth boy. Exactly. Okay. Um, you know, that had a cost like thousands. That's a, yeah. I mean, that's a lot of ink. I mean, that's, that's a lot. Well, there's a machine. Hold it on. Doesn't I can look it up. Machine Gun Kelly Tattoo Machine. Super Wigger. Yes. There you go, <laughs> Dorian Morgan. That is, that's what he's got him a cape. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, there is a machine Still. that he used. Uh, machine Gun Kelly debuts his new tattoo. Backlash against his new tattoo. I mean, it's just everything. It's just kind of kind of insane. But hey, you know what? Do what you want. Uh, this is... Uh... Well, the thing is, in about five years when he's applying for Walmart jobs, oh, it'll yeah. be an issue. He'll be fine. It's okay. It's okay. I, I, I think that he'll you, get... You away. want that guy delivering your McDonald's for Postmates, man? I, I think he'll be okay. I think yeah. he'll be I don't know. You know, I don't think anybody's going to say anything about it because I don't think anybody cares because it's Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the expectation. Uh, uh, don't just, worry, he won't. Re- he's probably yeah, not going to yeah, live long you know, we all know all musicians stay rich forever or Shh. live that long. Yeah. I don't even know. I you know. I mean, if you gun to head Machine Gun Kelly music, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't. I, I don't know one I, song. I can't even name one freaking track. You can't. Uh, all no I know idea. is I I have got Uber rides from the members of Rat at this point. So, <laughs> so uh, I wouldn't be wasting my money on Ink if I was him. I just uh, I you know what though I'm 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 not gonna lie. I think it looks better than the shit sure. that he had. Sure. Yeah, you said that about uh, Rocky Dennis when he popped the zit. Ah. <laughs> All right, gross boy. No, that is not true. I just, I mean, you guys can agree or disagree with me or if you want in the comment section. You know what? He just, to me, he just looks like a darker douche. Yeah, well, I, there's nothing nothing I know about him other than he's dating uh, uh, Megan Fox. That's all I got. Yeah, and, and I mean, how? Cool. What, what has Megan Fox done to this guy? I mean, to do this, I mean, she, she's. Have you seen her face lately? Yeah, yeah no, it's melting. Like the 30s, bro, and it looks it's really, melting. really, really disturbing. She's not exactly looking. Uh, like, her dude, like, she's, she's not. She's not that old, and she's already starting to look like that cat prod. Well, the big funny thing is that this chick from Love is Blind, when she was in the pods, she told the dude that she was trying to bag, that she, that she was told, because she's a stewardess, she was told by most of the people like on her flights that she looks like Megan Fox. So when he met her, and she's like a bigger girl too. So when he met her, he was like, "Yeah, no, you 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 don't look anything." She like related that. to Jay Leno. I mean, she's got that chin. You don't look anything like Megan Fox. I'm sorry, but yeah, Megan uh, looked kind of weird at the the. Ooh, what the yeah. hell? No, oh, you gotta do like weird. a recent photo, bro. That is it weird. Looks weird. That's, that's now. Oh yeah, that's dear. She I don't know. I don't Look know. up the one on on our site, man. That's uh, when she was partying with Travis Kelsey. Yeah, t- Travis Travis Kelsey and uh, what's her name Taylor. They were partying with those. Two. Look how cute she was, dude. She was one of the most she was beautiful. stunning looking women ever. If she would just let herself age normal, she'd still be smoking hot. Now she's trying to look just weird. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with her. A lot. <laughs> Lots. A lot. Lots is going on. Lots, Lots is going lots. on. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I got. You know what's problem. great? That's great. She's got like teenage kids that get to watch mom just go down the shitter. Yeah, with she, her. She, like it's like people forget that she's with that Beverly Hills guy. Yes, the green yeah. guy. He she had a couple of kids with that dude. Seriously, he is now more than seventeen percent for sure. Like, <laughs> <laughs> can that get you your card being having that much ink thrown I, in you? I think so. Yes. Jesus. I can't even imagine that's good for your skin, though, either. Oh, it's, it's probably not good at all for anything. I can't yeah, imagine. Probably, it hopefully, it's all like mercury up. based. Yeah, no. Can you imagine how that must have scabbed up the pain involved in that? Right, I, the I pain can... alone just from getting oh it. Well, you, know, you, know, 
you know how painful that sure. is. I can't even imagine. I'm sure the dude's been pain, so I'm sure he's used to pain. I'm sure he's used to pain, and you know what? He wears it like a like a badge of courage. Whatever. All right, we're gonna move on. We got too many clips to go to. Yes, yeah, let's yeah, get yeah. going. Um, I, I, don't, I don't even care about talking about Howard waking up with a raging heart on. Yeah, first of all, uh, Mr. Prostate is not waking up with anything except the limpy. I mean, it, it, he's got. He's got a noodle hanging down there. There's no way this has happened. Oh, by no the way, way, he talks about how he went to sleep no at way. nine and he woke up at ten with a raging heart on. No, and he had to go jerk off. And I don't understand. I don't understand that how ten o'clock how he can't just like flip his wife over. Um, and- first of all, because it's on the but- other side of the house, I and, flip something. and yeah. then you'd have to wake up the gardener that's in bed. Exactly, yeah. you have to move Manuel. To go, hey, bro, hey, brother, pasa? Can I come in? Pasa, señor Stern? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move on. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna, move on. <laughs> I'm gonna move on for that. An actual conversation. <laughs> I'm gonna go to a commercial that he did where he, he doesn't even understand how to say the word CBD. So I'm just, I'm just playing that real quick, just real quick. Over the weekend, I could not fall asleep. I'm thinking of going on those C- CDC gummies or whatever that C- shit is. CBC. CBD, right? CBD. C-B-D. <laughs> A-B-C-D-E-F-G. <laughs> Idiot. Moron. Moron. Um, do we want to hear the Harvey Weinstein story? Yes, please, because this is this is delicious. Because <laughs> Harvey is a is a, an absolutely horrible human being. So if this story is even remotely true, I'm all into it because it's just amazing to me. So this guy calls in and says that he's friends with somebody who's on the board of some prison. And the prison happens to be where Harvey Weinstein is. And Harvey Weinstein is in the um, section that's for the elderly and infirmed and stuff like that. So it's weird that Howard allowed the story to even go on because normally with shit like this, he would be like, oh, allegedly, don't say we don't know. We don't know anything. But you know what? He's more than happy to throw Harvey Weinstein under the bus. Well, no, it's it was in the script, and he just read it. It's okay. No, I don't think this guy was scripted. Oh, this is scripted, one hundred percent. Oh, I don't think so. I, I think, think this so. guy definitely called in with this story, and Ooh. I I'm shocked. I think he called in and said, "I have a Harvey Weinstein story," and oh. then they said to him, "All right, call in with the story." But let's listen to the Harvey Weinstein story, so and we can talk about it on the other side. Here we go. I uh, <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because I went to visit a friend of mine who was incarcerated at uh, Mohawk Correctional this weekend, and he's a trustee for the jail. He was telling me some Harvey Weinstein stories. Um, that apparently that's where he is. They keep him in uh in a block called the Wash, and that's for the decrepit and the diseased, the diseased and and dying. Uh, he's in a wheelchair. He looks really fucked up. But the thing is, is that he's the only person in the jail who gets a visit directly to his cell, right? And I thought it would be interesting that you know it's like a tall, skinny, blonde model chick, and apparently everybody goes crazy over her when she comes. Um, You have to put a, a, a week's notice in advance in order to get a visit. So the guards know when he's going to get a visit and they all fight over who's going to guard the wash that week when she comes. All right. This, this, this story has holes big enough to drive a truck through. I mean, well, Mr. D just said Harvey is dying at Mohawk correctional facility in Rome, New York. I believe that to be true. I I would go with that, but um, I don't think that any tall blonde model is coming weekly and going right to his cell to have uh, what a congenial visit. Is that what we're talking about here? uh, You know, rub a tug. I mean, I I don't, I, 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 I mean, no, no, just no. I think it's a crazy story. Mr. D says, Dennis, it is very possible, man. I don't think so. I, I really don't. They have rooms for that. You don't have to go to the uh, cell. Well, but and then also, what's the deal with Harvey Weinstein? I mean, you know, he, he went from amazing power broker to the stars, fucking everything that, you know, would turn and look his way to... 
just 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 dying just you, dying. you know what the, the worst yeah. part about the wine scene thing is what? apparently everybody knew he was doing this and they were still lather that picture with uh you know the botox forehead of uh of beth and howard giggling with him yeah. everybody in that party knew the dude was railing starlights okay. like crazy here's the I thing mean, and the, weird, of- and the weird part about it is courtney love was the voice of reason She's the only one with enough balls that try to out him. And, and I people think it wasn't took convenient. Part it of the was... circle in order to know that that's what Harvey was doing. Like, I think everybody knew, bro. Everybody knew in that circle. I think that it was the 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 worst kept secret in Hollywood. Well, the yeah. Worst. And it, it wasn't convenient for a while to do anything because you were still getting better work by doing yeah, it. Absolutely. That, that, that's Hollywood. That's literally Hollywood. They're, I mean, Howard was lathering his butt hole when, when it was people. already a known thing. Yes. So it's yeah. like the, for him to come now and, and have someone, oh, he's doing this. Like, so what? You you did, you did knew what he was doing, motherfucker. You knew. And, and you wanted to nothing be a about pun. it. You, 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 you did the whole Hamptons uh, soiree thing with him. So and your, your gorgeous wife designed your girlfriend's dress. Your, Absolutely. Yeah. And how did she not know? And she will swear to this day. She yeah. will swear to this day that she Are you didn't serious? know. Yes. Oh, please. Yes. What a liar. A whole, She's utter liar. She did a whole article of Vanity Fair saying, I swear to right. God, I had no idea this was You going know to- what that was? That's the Mia Culpa going out and making separating That's yourself a, as take far away as you can. That's that move through Vanity right Fair. Somebody giving you a nice positive article. Now, that's all that is. Now, basically, what goes on is that the only reason somebody that looks like this. Hold on. Let me see this. Yes. The only reason somebody who looks Wait. like this marrying that's a good power monster like yes. Harvey Weinstein. Is because she knows that he is going to bankroll and finance exactly. her life, her lifestyle, everything. He is your classic ugly troll who probably gave her the motherfucking world. He put her on the map. He, he insisted that stars wear her designs to the Oscar. Exactly. To everything. And she benefited from everything that he gave to her exactly and that's why she did a nice little mia culpa in vanity fair saying i knew that's, nothing that was a, you don't know, take my house bro you know so she was basically was it who's it doing on bubba was it 25 cent the one that had the rag yes. and the stick that yes. would wipe bubba's ass that, yes that was her yeah i mean this is this stunning thing was married to this troll yeah i mean this is your classic easy frank the tank makes a great point what did he say as soon as Alyssa Milano stopped getting work, out came the Me Too. Exactly. Wait, wait, how did it actually happen? Does anybody remember how who was the first domino to fall in that wine scene thing? Because everybody knew. It's just nobody was talking. It was either Milano or um, oh, what's her name? Oh, I can't, I can't think. Oh, I could see her. I can't, I can't, but, I can't uh, say it. I didn't think at least Milano yeah. never got uh, that uh, wine scene, uh, like uh, parts, did she? No, well, who she, was she other had some like, work and then damn. she stopped getting work. Nah, she was like, Who's the boss money, bro? Who no, 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 she one? actually was in charmed. She was in charmed. Who's the one, who... oh, yeah, 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 she was in charmed, but I mean, that that was a cluster F, that's a, a, a CW or something like that. Rose the McGowan, one? that's what it was. Rose McGowan. Rose McGowan. That's what I was stopped getting. And everybody was goofing on Rose. Like, oh, she's crazy. She's crazy. And then, like, oh, she was right. She's crazy. She is fucking crazy. She is crazy. Oh, absolutely. She was right. I honestly can't even look at her face. Like, she, she is. She has a hot looking broad, bro. She She was smoking hot. She is repulsive to me. Like, she was right. She did a little too much. Way too much. It's just a mush. It, it, it's 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 funny how like like it, we ignore the message if the person that delivering it is kind of nuts. But yeah. Still, yeah, but there you go. But yeah, she was right, and you know, you know that I knew stories from Sean Young, who has told me a many a story. Oh. Of was that many... before or after she ruined your? We... Yeah, before. Mo has stories that TMZ would kill for. Yes. 
Like, I can no, like no joke. She told me what, some couple the thing her buddy said. I'm like, oh, people that are crap. like, like it's too bad it's coming from her. It's probably her. people that are like so high in the spectrum of worship them that you would never think of them as being absolutely just these people that would say, monsters. I will give you this job. If you get down on your knees and blow me, <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, like legit. Like we at one point we were actually going to do a Mister Whiskers on it. Then like, man, these people oh. crush us like an ant. No fucking <laughs> like, way. No, they would, fucking they way. would crush no. us. It wouldn't even be like funny. She'll write a book one day, and everybody yeah, will be chalked yeah, and yeah. knees at, at the shit that went. Didn't she just write it now? I mean, no, she you know. seriously will be shocked and amazed. Oh, it was worse than casting couch, bro. It is so much worse. <laughs> seriously, I, I, we're talking the tip, the tippy tippy top of the A plus plus plus. Absolutely, that are absolutely. Hey, blow me. <laughs> uh, yeah, they yeah. Just, yeah, untouchable. But once again, you know it's. Uh, I 100% believe it. The problem is the messenger. It's kind of like, remember in uh, Night of the Living Dead where the dad said that we just go down into the attic and we can guard one door. And it turned out that he was right, but he was just kind of, a, the message was kind of all screwed up. And at the end, that's what they did to survive. It's kind of like that. What you're talking about. Can I move on? I have 10 clips to go and we've been on for an hour and a half already. Oh, yeah. It's been that long. Oh, my goodness. Oh, let's cry. Let's cry a tear for Howard right now. Here we go. You know what pisses me off? Growing up, I realized no one once ever read a book to me. This prison sounds better than where I grew up. No one ever read a book to him. Um, sad, why? Honey, husband. <laughs> sad, sad, sad. All right. There's no way on God's green earth that's true. I mean, it's not even, it's such a blatant lie that it's, no, no. Mr. Veal got books read to him probably till he was 10 years old it, to go to bed. So 20. So 20. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. but Then no. we have, a, then we have a, a solid 35, 40 minutes about, and this is bizarre to me. And maybe, you know, maybe I was like fluffing through it because I didn't really give a shit. Um, but can you tell me why this happened? Hey, so uh, we sent Mamet to Tom, the actor and comedian Tom Arnold's house to do a full 24 hours with Tom Arnold. Really? Why? Yeah, because Tom, Tom Arnold is desperate. Tom Arnold, he was married to Roseanne. And, uh, and if you in, don't uh, remember Roseanne, we can't help you. <laughs> yeah, I mean. So basically you're embedding him with somebody who hasn't been famous or and or on TV for forever. We remember him because of our age group, but anybody younger than us has absolutely no idea. So he's going the to best like part Twitter about crowd. this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The, Twitter the best crowd. part about this is that it was recorded in September mm -hmm. of last year. It's, it's five right, months old. They did that stupid river rafting trip. Five months ago. Where is, Five months ago. Is where is this being recorded? Where is this being played? Where is this videotape? Like, wh why do we have this? Why does this even exist? Because Tom Arnold you know why? said yes. Because he's desperate. Because Jim Belushi wasn't available. Yeah, that's true also. So just appreciate Tom Arnold. Um, if you're not sure who he is, just so I can, just I'm going to show you a tweet from him. Because he's nuts. Here's okay. Tom Arnold. Four years ago, I had a massive I had massive organ failure. The day I got home from the hospital, my doctor told me not to lock my bathroom door. This is what happened. I am blessed and grateful every day. So here he is taking a shit, and there's his daughter right next to him. Isn't that sweet? Oh wow! How loving! Isn't that That's, just that insane. is incredibly insane? Um, insane. Yeah, and, he's uh, he's not wound very tight. It doesn't okay, seem though. to be. I mean, based no. on, uh, but 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 why would Mamet be with him, and why would this even occur? Because he said yes. And That's, then, where is this being recorded, and where is anybody in his house? This? No, but who's watching this? Like, why is it even? No one is. It's just to fill time. He killed a half hour today with this successfully. Mm. It, it was slaughtered. It was mm. perfect. He, he killed a bunch of time. And then, best of all, though, they had a door knock of a fake Tom Arnold by Craig Gass that was so incredibly awful because literally you could have gotten the real one to come on because he's doing nothing right now. He could have called in. 
yeah, nobody cares about Tom Arnold, by the way. No. And nobody cares about Mehmet being in bed with Tom Arnold. No, no. no he's no, no. talking about like his Christmas lights and all sorts of shit. And, you know, it's just like fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Well, you didn't you hear about the 25 Christmas trees in his front yard? <laughs> no. 25 in September. He had 25 Christmas trees in his front yard. Excellent. This is That's, excellent news. Yeah, he, he must be a favorite on that block. This is excellent. In his 1,500 square foot house. So, oh, yeah, right, right. And they're, they're both saying, oh, well, that doesn't seem like a lot of square footage for what, your. Whatever happening to the whole, uh, you know, I only want A actors and tweet them. It's like that's Tom Arnold, that really? That, that's, that, is that the. That, that was Mehmet's job, okay? The, the lesser. No, but I mean, it's like the fact that they even would go, well, you know, we got Tom Arnold. That's uh, good enough. Yeah. All right, moving on. So now let's talk about Beth's gala because Beth went to a gala this weekend. Yes. I, I think I knew what it was. I was telling you about my weekend. My wife went to a gala or is it a gala? I say gala. Well, you You're say John, I say gala. <laughs> yeah, I say gala. But uh, she went to a gala uh, by herself. That was her gift to me. She said, I I knew she was good. She, was, she gets really excited to get dressed up and put on a gown and high heels. Mm -hmm. and we haven't done that in years. I mean, there's just nowhere years. to go. She, she always said, nowhere to go. We had somewhere to yeah. go. Like, she wanted me to go to the Academy Awards just so she could, you know, put on a gown. And I said, That's honey, what am I going to do? Yeah. Yeah. But I, what am I, how can I be at the Academy Awards? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Although Jimmy's hosted him this year and in years You're past, he has a ticket. Yeah. No, well, in no, I past, would never go and like sit too. there and watch it. But he, he has said to me, would you present an award? And I go, no. You know, I mean, the nicest way. I mean, it's so sweet. Of mine. I go, why would I be there? I mean, I, what, I'm not in the movies. What, what? No, you're not in the movies. No, you're not even relevant. And, and why is it that a Jimmy Kimmel, who literally is just a speaking voice for the beginning of the show, be the person to ask you? So here's Beth. Um, <sighs> after the night is over. Um, wow. Hey, Mirror. Same he, pose. Do you, do your Same. boobs swing low? Do they move to and fro? Yeah. Wow. Those those things are down by its waist. Now, do you remember in Palm Beach they used to always take pictures outside by that yes. little portico by the stone like yes. freeway or whatever? But this is obviously th this this mirror must be like a really good elongating mirror for her. Yes. Which is why she takes oh, all of her photos here now. Like the lead singer of Heart. When they 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 took her and they stretched her in the video so she didn't look fat, but her tits are hanging really oh, low. I mean, the yeah, neck, a, not a very flattering. Is not very flattering. They're uh, they're at the belly button. <laughs> it's just a very I mean, bizarre the picture. Chest, the chest is a lot a lot higher up. And by the way, I went crazy looking for pictures from this winter gala. That was for the boys and girls clubs of Palm yes. Beach or some sure, shit. Sure, sure, sure. So yeah, I went I, I and looked that out. pictures of her at yeah. the gala. Um, there was none to be found, which is why she had to then tell us about her ah. dress and the gala because obviously nobody cared to take pictures so of her. At the, cameraman the, looked, the cameraman looked at that chest hanging down to its waist and went, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's okay, honey. Wouldn't it be something if she just was at a Publix hanging out with some Girl Scouts selling cookies? And they're like, what? What's this woman doing here? What the hell? We're just trying to sell it, it cookies. Went, it, went, it went to a, a job site. By <laughs> the way, here's the sad, pathetic truth about this. Yes. Every yeah. woman in Palm Beach looks like this. Every fucking one. The thing's it. hanging down to oh, its I waist. Mean, dude, probably dude. have a little bit more Honestly? work done. Um... She needs some, dude. Those things are pointing towards the grave, bro. I'm not talking the titties. I'm talking about the. I the, am. The titties is a big thing. That's a big yeah. thing. That's all you. That's the first thing you notice when you look at that thing. Well, yeah. I'm with you. I, I'm. 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 I'm hearing you, and I understand what you're saying. But I'm telling you that 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 Palm Beach society sure. are all these fucking blonde skinny chicks. Who look exactly? They got earned their keep. 
Yes, but they at least their at least their cans aren't down by their waist. Dude, those <laughs> they, you know they, I'm not they saying that she's got boob jobs. That her boobs are like hanging low, but that is not a flattering picture. That is not a flattering at all. I agree completely. Um, but the palm <laughs> high level tits. And I have shown you. <laughs> I have shown you. What did you say? Tell me. Uh, it was high coach going tits. by level tits. Yeah. <laughs> There's like some Picasso shit going on in that picture. <laughs> so the Palm Beach thing is like a very big thing. And there's Gala. this chick on TikTok, which I've shown you before. Um, and what she does is she will ask people in Palm Beach, like what they're wearing. I love your outfit. Thank you Look at this much. freak. Can you tell us what you're Dear wearing? Right. Lily Pulitzer. Yeah. Oh, that face. Wow. Well, you know what? She looks like she's been in a, a hurricane tunnel. Beautiful. How about that headband? That's me. <laughs> the headband. You made the headband. Yeah. What's it? What's your brand name? No, I don't make it. I just get a scarf and wrap it. Oh wow! You did that so beautifully. Look at that I love face. it with the outfit. That's like you know oh. how the hurricane <laughs> thing you can go in and it simulates a hurricane. That's exactly yes. what that looks like. You see, beautiful. Yeah. Who's it by? Okay. Beautiful. Thank and you. one last thing. What's your favorite perfume? So I'll, I'll give you a funny one that. <laughs> It's Funnier like, than that? Wow. Well, yes. Just just a hair. Just a she looks a, like that dude from Deep Space Nine that can morph into other people. <laughs> Wait, but this is the funniest. She really stuff. does. Um <laughs> yeah, that's spot on. <laughs> like <laughs> Let's see if I can find that. I'm like Google imaging like frantically over here. Like, I gotta find that picture for sure. That dude. And wasn't it the guy that was on Benson? Um uh, what's his Yeah, it was exactly the guy he, he, hang on, hang on, okay. so I had seen hey, that a Renee, couple of weeks ago. I'd seen it a couple of weeks ago, and I'm thinking to myself, God, she she looks a little bizarrely familiar to me. And of uh -oh. course I had uh I had posted this in the politics section, of course. Of oh, the, Sean Young? Oh no, of the um incredibly shocking and grotesque uh sneakers from the new Trump line of sneakers. Oh and look there she is at the there she is at Mar a Lago. There's that freak at Mar a Lago. That's the same freak? Same chick. That's what they look like though. This is what Palm Beach looks like. So of course clearly Beth fits Oh my God look right at the Night of the Living Dead in the background. Beth Thank fits you. right in with them. I'm telling you she fits right in. <laughs> the dude's character's name was Odo. Oh, this guy. Yeah, this guy is like death warmed over. Jesus Christ. I Freak. bet he was really fun in the 1920s. Freaks, I tell you. Yeah, he was that guy. He was in The Shining, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he was He was the bartender. Jesus fucking Christ. These women are like shocking. Lloyd? Lloyd. He's like Lloyd. Lloyd was the bartender. Like, here, here, click, click on the image and private chat. It looks just oh, like that. No, 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 no. Two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. Tell me. Boy, I like Tampa so much better because at least when I see plastic surgery, it looks great. You hurt my soul. <laughs> Don't tell me that's, that's, it, that's it. That's Renee. What's his? I can't remember his last name. He yeah, the, Benson. yeah. Well, right. Renee Lachaplane. What was his name? Yeah, yeah some French. weird. He's French. But he was, he was a really good actor. He was great in that show, too. I'm going to continue now. All right. So then he's talking. Please you know. Continuing with the um, uh, the gala and all this stuff. So, of course, Jimmy asks him to present at the Oscars, right? Oh. But yeah. Yeah. Bradley Cooper's so. writing a part for you, and Paul Giamatti's looking for a part. <laughs> yeah, Bradley Cooper, I think I'm going to do one of his films. Sure you are. Anyway, oh, my God, when Jimmy said to me, do you want to, you know, be a presenter at the Academy Awards? I went, my wife goes, oh, you must do it. You must. <laughs> And I was like, honey, what are we going to do? What do you, you know? mean, what are you going to do? You're going to go present an award. Trust me, any idea I'd have at that award show, they don't want on there. <laughs> They'll throw me right the fuck off the stage. No, nobody wants you to um, do shtick and present. At the Oscars. Uh, at the, uh, I mean. And what right would you have to present at an Oscar? Well, like, I mean, I, I guess. Uh, what? What? Why? Don't they have people that aren't Oscar winners or movie people that present at times? I mean, 
to give an Oscar away. I mean, not the Oscars, man. No, you're right. I mean, that's the last time has, we saw Guillermo at the Oscars. You know? No, you're right. You're right. But Jimmy Kimmel's there. I mean, he's really nothing. I don't know. That, but, I mean, ABC owns the joint. Yeah, that's Disney true. Owns- but, I mean, he's so delusional at this point about his fame that does not exist that I, I, I mean, he couldn't host the M- any MTV award at this point. I mean, he's no. just no. so irrelevant. He- He's no. not part of the uh, diaspora, is it, of society now? And so there's no reason for him to be involved in it. And he knows it, too. And I'm sure Jimmy just asked him just, like, out of his ass, like all these guys do. They all talk well, he out of their he'll ass. He'll say no. He'll know. Oh. He'll say no. And that's, and that's why Cooper asking him to be the brother in that movie. He would have he- had to. What Does he think he wouldn't have had to? Um, to audition for it or to be, you know, oh, no. take lessons or something because he's not playing himself. You're playing Bradley. Oh, no, no. I mean, he has that whole one credit under his belt. I mean, he obviously would be perfectly fit to do a multi-million dollar movie. Yeah. Yeah. With with major stars. With major stars. All right. So then he got into this weird thing about bullying. And he. This was weird. Strange. It's like, it was weird. Okay, so let me just give you the background to the story because he started talking about this. I didn't record the whole thing because he went on and on and on about it. So there was this non-binary teen named Nex Benedict, um, who had a fight in her. I'm gonna, is it a she? It's a they. It's, it, it, it's in okay. its school. I mean, sure. I don't know. So whatever. I'm totally okay with whatever they want to well, be. Well, it's still too want. young to have that type of opinion, but that's okay. You're allowed to have an opinion. You're a child. Not that, not that young. You're still forming, you know, you usually yeah, have to be an you, adult. But, but Dennis, what do you say to your daughter if she came to you? You say, fuck you. You wear a dress to school? As I'm a saying you're, it, well, it, it, this is a whole, we're not going to go down this path on this show. Let's just well, keep it going do? forward. Well, what do you do? What do you Let's do? Just you keep it going yourself? forward. No one wants to hear my Mo, opinion. No, keep on it this. going forward. Let's bro. keep it going forward. Yeah, you, you don't tell your child no. You say whatever makes you happy and doesn't make you fucking mm. yourself. So anyway, no. he okay. had a fight in school, and um, and the police came to see her at the hospital, and she seemed okay. And you know, they talked about what happened, and she had uh, this fight and whatever. And the next day, she was dead. So they're not strange. necessarily sure what. That's strange. I mean, really, that's strange. Not like they came and she sure, was cognizant and totally cognizant. Um, that's so really weird. That's actually weird, actually. Or why she died. That's strange. They died. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing. It doesn't matter. It, it, but it, uh, it, the person died. I mean, that's sad. But and it's weird how the, the in the hospital cognizant talked and then then died, which is really strange. Next day. It was very but weird. How, why is this on Howard's radar? Well, that, this is the big, that's 112% question. Exactly. So why is this on how it wasn't even on my radar. And I look at all the shit that's going on in the world because, you know, we're always posting stuff on, on our website. So they, um, here, so this is her in the hospital the day before. This is literally the day before. right there. Okay. She seemed Okay. Everything was fine. And this is from the policeman's body cam footage. Okay. Okay. Next day. So this gets on Howard's radar, bizarrely enough, for no reason that we can actually discern. Um, But then even weirder than that is then this. Type of person I would never be offended by. But, uh, you know, she... Uh, they is walking around in a they in is hall, walking around That's and not the way uh, everyone's getting stupid. all worked up i mean get the fuck over it man hey i will tell you too there's a um as long as we're talking about this there's some good work going on by the people at mallory's army they're doing um it's an anti-bullying foundation and they they had to start it uh this lovely couple D- Diane and Seth Grossman started it after their 12-year-old daughter committed suicide. He's reading this obviously he has no oh, yeah, very much so. Cheerleader, leader a gymnast she made and sold bracelets to benefit a charity she loved that helps kids with cancer but after being bullied repeatedly online and at school she took her own life in 2017 so you know. So 
I don't know where this came from. I and and as we're talking about it, because I was looking at something else that I was looking for on the Stern show. Um, and this is the front page. This is obviously today's show. Um, the first post is click here to learn more about anti-bullying group Mallory's Army. And I'm like, is there somebody that they know there? There has to be a collection. There's a, there's a Buckwall connection. One hundred twelve percent. There is not just Buckwall. Probably somebody that for, one of them knows. It's somebody oh. or him or whatever. Yeah, like some Jewish couple that they know from somewhere. We yeah, don't know. I mean that's because. But it's weird. The story he, he tried to tangle into this is like really outside of like the main focus because this this is like helping all children. That get bullied because you this know, is they're, a horrible they're, story, by the way. Because I, I started yeah. to read about it that she was bullied and she killed herself, and that was right. It. Yeah, I mean, oh, you God. know, and it's like because it was even the funny thing is he didn't bring this up when John Cena was in there, and John Cena was bullied when he was twelve. That's why he started working out a little time because he was bullied. Right, and it's like okay, but you didn't bring it up then. All of a sudden today, this is on his radar, and. He didn't bring up the John Cena that he was going that he was talking about that that thing because that would have been something to bring up with him, wouldn't it? Hey, hey guys, Kinda, right? Okay. Yeah. Today's talking. Okay, re okay relevant, relevant, relevant. So he's uh, on this anti-bullying kick. Let me read to you what a bully said in 2010. That's a to a, basically a teenager. Yes. That's the most enormous fat black chick I've ever seen. Uh, she's is in, she's enormous. Everyone's pretending she's part of show business. She'll never she's never going to be in another movie. She should have gotten the best award because she'll never is going to have another shot. Guess who that was? That was Howard Stern. That was Howard Stern talking about how about, how about Regis Philbin's flipper foot kid? How yeah. about how about Cassidy? How about Cody Cassidy? and Cassidy? Yeah, yeah, Cody and Cassidy, who uh, he wanted them to be cooked on crack. You're an adult yeah. bullying them. You're an adult yeah. doing it. You know it. what? Honestly, has listen, millions of people I, I, listening to you at the time. Think about that. Have, I've got to say, I got to say, Howard is Howard. We goof on him, but he's a total piece of shit. Oh, absolutely. Stuff. He literally had people kill themselves after being on his show. Yeah. And he's going to be the the harbinger of bully I mean, dude, he's just a piece of crap, man. He really I, is. There is nothing about me that doesn't believe that these this Mallory thing and I'm sure it's a great yeah. cause. I'm all for you if that's what you're promoting. He's the wrong person to give he's why the wrong are person. You, why are you doing this? And you know, not only did he mention that, you know, that John Cena does this thing for kids and whatever, he has never mentioned never mentioned a charity that you should go to and help other Ever. people. Except, except Beefus's yeah, Except Beefus's charity. Mentions that, you know? And the fact that he would mention somebody else's is a little suspect bro, to me. Bro, it's always bro. a serious motive as well. Last week, uh, one of the porn stars that was on his show numerous times that yep. did the delivery thing and did a, a Sibian thing blew her head off. Yeah, didn't mention where's it at the all. message there? No. Didn't mention where's it at the all. geez, this is nope. horrible. She contributed to my show. Let's give her I a wonder, moment. Wait, I wonder how Dana Plato feels about his, him uh it's... helping with this anti bullying, considering what he did. I mean, the chat is bringing up what he did to her. That was horrible. Yeah. What he did to her. I mean, and, seriously, and once again, no shade to whatever charity no. that is, but it's hard. He is the last person. That should be giving that message. The very last. But do you not find it weird that he would bring that? I just find it bizarre. I, 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 I will confess I knew nothing about this poor child who, you know, wound up dying for, for whatever circumstances it were under. It was under. Um, I'm just shocked that he would conflate the uh, a bullying uh, charity from 2017 yeah. to something that happened yesterday when this kind of shit happens all, all the, time. the fucking time, every fucking day. There is a horrible, horrible Until bullying accident. Howard wants happened. to talk about all the crap that has happened, the wake of dead bodies that have come through his show. Then after he's done that, Mia Copa, Maybe talk about these kind of charity things. Until then, dude's a piece of crap. Yeah. 
I, yeah, so I just don't understand where it came from, why it existed today, and what made it be something that he needed to discuss. And you know what? Maybe one day we'll be able to get into the psychology of it. You know why? You know why? It's, it's another case of Yahoo News Howard. He wakes up, he looks at Yahoo News, yep. and that becomes a thing. Yeah. That's, he's a lazy, lazy man. All right, we got to finish the show. We're two hours in. I still have four. Oh, my minutes. God. So here's a little bit of his John Cena fascination, which obviously bordered Uga. on Uga. Exactly. exactly. I just loved it. Well, I, saw something I, different I loved it, day. too. I know what you mean, but I loved it, too. And I remember thinking afterwards, I was standing there in Miami with John, and I found myself wanting more of him. I wanted to continue <laughs> the conversation because I found him so fabulous. But um, he, you know, like I... I tried to talk to him about that, um, that I'm in Florida uh -huh. and cause he lives in Tampa. Like, I think I was trying to make a date with him. You know what I mean? Like when there's a hot chick in the room, because I was you, so he brought something out in you, Howard. Yeah. It was I wanted, I was going to try and drop in that like, Hey, you know, like maybe we should hang or something and, you know, get the wives together and, but he, like, he got out of there pretty quick. And then I said, Hmm, oh. well maybe. You know, maybe, maybe he ain't feeling what I'm feeling, but, uh, you're such a um, dick. Okay. Number one, you would be the first person to get the fuck out of there for a 60 mile drive. He had to drive all the way no, back no, to Tampa. It's two, oh. it's 200. It's for, I know where it is. It's 220 miles. Saying. Of course he blew out of there. He had to get home. You stupid fucking man. You but would the be thing the first is, person to get out of somewhere. But the thing is, he's like, he wasn't feeling what I was. I what what does that even mean, dude? Mean? That's crazy. That's crazy. What talk. does that even mean? That's crazy. He wasn't like, feeling like, what I was feeling, so he left really quickly and, and didn't let me share with him my love for him. Like, seriously, what is it? What was he trying to even say? I don't know. I mean, he was he was very smitten with him. I mean, what? I'll give him that. Little thing, Jesus. It's a, hunky. It's a four hour drive back from where that is. What do you think about that puzzle, Cam? Puzzle she doesn't is, want to get um, involved with these shenanigans. Yeah, yeah no. she's just, yeah, she's over that. She's, she's really over that. All right, let's move on. Um, this was a bizarre piece of the clip. I mean, I guess he was talking about gay things and whatever after that, and he says this. I, I swear to you, growing up. And maybe oh, he's basically saying he grew up in a you know no confrontation hole. His parents no, were very, no, open, very no. open minded, so so open minded that this is my mother because she would she used to set up uh, people on gay dates. I mean, you know, if she saw if she awesome. knew someone was gay, you know. But 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 the point was, I was raised in an environment where I didn't think it was a bad thing to be gay. Really? Okay, mm. so let's talk about that really quickly. <laughs> Let's talk about that really quickly. So uh, let's point to his book. Number one, the truth is I'm on the world. His book is a good one. Homosexuality, and I'd like to take this opportunity to set the record straight on why men become homosexuals. Many people today lean towards the revisionist theory that homosexuality is biologically determined. In my opinion, homosexuality is just another way of delaying adulthood. When you're with another guy, you don't have to deal with the responsibilities of a traditional family. <laughs> you extend yeah, the, that's it. the joys of your prepubescence. You're stuck in the phase of your life where you just hang out with boys. It's a simpler time and a gross sign of immaturity. I believe homosexual behavior is not genetic, but rather a deeply rooted defense mechanism that allows the human mind to ward off outside pressures like obsessive compulsive behavior, alcoholism, or gambling addictions, homosexuality, uh, sexual behavior can be changed. Okay. I have nothing against homosexuality. Dr. And I support gay rights, but I can't fathom the ass as a sex object. Yeah, you can. Why don't yes, I go can. And put my dick in a garbage pail? Part two. I think homosexuality is just another distraction, albeit a much stronger distraction than even OCD or back pain. Dr. Um, Sarno seems to be a way for men in our society to avoid the responsibilities of being an adult adult male it's not genetic it's all psychosomatic 
Why? I maintain it's because those are the guys most likely to attract women and attract this responsibility, and this is their way of escaping. It's a fear of making a living and supporting a family to the nth degree. If you're gay, it's almost as if you're perpetually caught in boyhood. You hang out with the guys, you don't have a wife and kids, yeah. and the house and the mortgage. Hey, it sounds really good. Maybe I should Nothing try it. Sucks. I know that people will read this and say, ah, oh, he's full of shit because they're not going to understand that obsessive compulsive behavior, back pain, homosexuality, PMS, Sarno. most of other problems are all tied in with psychosomatic illness. You motherfucker. You have never had your period. You have no idea what that pain is like. You just a tip. I'm <laughs> sure that all homosexuals don't want to think of themselves as ill and I don't blame them. I'm not anti-homosexual. If you're happy being gay, then by all means be gay. Besides that means there's more pussy for me. <laughs> Let's play dandy balls. Exactly. Okay. Um, okay. So, so he's Pope. there. He's there ch ch uh, championing all yeah, of this. Yeah. And he let his Once cousin again, die. Howard is a wrong messenger for just about every message wait, at this point. But, yes. but the thing is, he let his cousin die penniless and his partner Just going to complete bankruptcy because Howard didn't write a check for oh, medical yeah. care. You, yeah. Let's just remember that his cousin Stacy, who he let die a, a horrible death and then their entire business and everything went away because Howard didn't stroke a check for 50 grand, yeah. which is nothing to this man. They flew a cat in from Oman. Oman it cost 12 grand to fly that cat in. Sure. But because there's no cats here, obviously. No cats here. They had to find there's one in Oman. Zero cats here. Zero cats. There's no cats at all in this in this country. Melvin. And he he let his his uh, homosexual cousin that he love he allegedly loved so much die penniless and his partner go into bankruptcy because of the medical bills. Yes, uh, absolutely the perfect messenger like. for this. Perfect. Melvin, I love the idea of doing a deepening style long form series where we go through Howard's private parts book. I do. Oh my god, I'd love doing that. I, I hate that book so much now. I love that. <laughs> Despise I it. What's he saying, right. Robin? Moving on. Got to finish the. Got to finish two clips. Oh, wait, wait. Puzzles moving. Up, Hold on. She's, up, she's uh, stretching. Up. Uh, uh, uh. Stray cat. Strut, I'm a lady. And she's done cat. now. I'm a female Casanova. Hey. That was some motion there. That was that was movement on an epic. Yeah, that was more movement than the Stern show has had all year. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So they're just about to wrap up the show. It's like 10 15 or something. So like close. That. So close. So so close. But here's Robin on script. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyway, uh Wait a minute. one thing I have to ask you. Did you see the, you know, uh I got See now, you can tell when she's weirdly ad libbing because she does a lot of you knows as well. And you know, she's always yeah. she's just know. listen to how she phrases this. Uh, and, and who gives a fuck? It's ten fifteen. Just wrap it up. Ask you, did you see the? You know, uh, I got alerts on my phone again that <laughs> uh, Travis Kelsey was on his way to Australia to be right. with Taylor Swift. So, so I'm now, getting these alerts. You know, he just got on the plane. He's landed. Let me and ask they're you together. She's, yeah. she's getting I got a question for you. What, what kind of phone you have? Because I never get these <laughs> updates. I mean, where, yeah. where, how do you get where they come from? Wow. But it's I'm unbelievable. always seeing she's headed this way for the Super Bowl and she just landed. And then he's going for, uh, you know, a visit to Australia. And yeah, I don't know. I I, I don't know. She's just rambling. You know what the funny part was, though? I honestly think he does not understand how, uh, like, Google feed works. I, I don't think he understands how news feeds work. Not too dissimilar to how they did not understand how OnlyFans works, but I digress. Oh, that, that OnlyFans thing was painful. Uh, he had no idea how OnlyFans work. The, I, I couldn't even clip how, it. How many times do you think Robin has uh, answered the phone from Romania and gotten gift, Amazon gift cards? <laughs> to read the number, Google Play cards, Google Play cards, Play cards, and Amazon. Cards. I think that she's gotten a call from Microsoft tech support. I you am, know. I am with Microsoft. I am your tech. I need you to go down to Walmart I need and your get social security get number, five thousand dollars in gift cards. So I tell so them you I deleted who you are. I deleted all the clips, but there was yay. 
No, there was one where, hold on, let me see if I can find it really quickly. I just want to drag it back in. No way, Brizzo. They did not bring up Wendy Williams at all. No, 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 And no. they won't bring it up tomorrow either. It will not be brought up. Answer, special mention, make a wish. Somebody on the moon. <laughs> Somebody on the moon. Look, special. Agenda. Make a wish. Uh, oh, the woke with a raging heart on. Okay, so we were just talking about how Robin was kind of reading from the script. This was a, actually a really, really weird one as well. So he was talking about how he goes to sleep at nine o'clock and wakes, and I pass by this clip. But Robin asks the weirdest question, and I'm pretty positive it's an ad. So you just tell me what you think before we do the end of the show. With this fucking, uh, I'm up. I was up at. I went to bed last night nine nine ish. You know. Mm -hmm. Did you I stop a, to see the new Walking listen. Dead uh, movie, TV show? No, no, no. no. Never mind. I, because by nine o'clock, I'm in bed with my wife, and I okay. ain't walking on Walking Dead. It's a commercial. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I have I have a list of things to watch with Beth, and uh, a, a list of things that I can watch on my own. I see. And, and sometimes she walks in when I'm watching something on my own. She goes, "What I like that." <laughs> I go, no, I'm very sure you would not. And then once in a while she likes it and I get in trouble. I don't know what's going on there, but I am pretty positive that Robin was probably supposed to, at that point, say something about the new Walking Dead yeah. show. And, and she screwed it up. She screwed it up. Completely and 100% screwed By up. By the way, I tried to watch that show last night. And? It's horrible. Really? What is the hard on these guys have with these like paramilitary... Uh, scenarios it's just dude can't just do just walk in the forest and fight zombies no oh, no they have so to make bad. it more complicated yeah. all right so melvin in the chat has a qu quickly has a uh, question here dennis when does howard's current contract end how much longer must we do this secondly god forbid will he renew the contract allegedly ends next december yes. unfortunately there is already a contract probably in place 100 for the next five years Garen, I, I'm pretty sure of that at this point. We'll see. I'm pretty yeah. sure. I'm 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 pretty sure. There, there's well, we'll the see how the thing that would stop the contract it is much less, much, much less. It's whatever la money laundering thing that they're doing in the you know on the DL, you know, goes belly up. Yeah. As long as that thing that's still going on, they'll just keep throwing him contracts. All right, 1022. I gotta be done no, with no, this. No, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. We we gotta do this. Um okay, if you are having thoughts of hurting yourself or I'm no? I'm not ready yet. I'm who, doing the end of the show. Okay, and then well, let me just read it now. Then let me just read it now. Then go ahead. All right, fine. So, you just roll your eyes at, at what I'm doing. No, okay. no, no, not at all. We, no. we have to. If, if you are, are having thoughts of hurting yourself or know anybody who is, do not wait. Call 1 800 273 8255 24 hours a day and have and talk to somebody. Do not uh, just sit there and wait on it. Call, do not hurt yourself. We love you and all that stuff. Thank you. All right, here's the end of the show. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. We have a lot to get to tomorrow. In fact, I've got to talk to you some more about um what? Oh, okay. We're gonna do uh clean out the computer. We have a lot of stuff. Hey, okay. let, let's just leave that teaser in your mind and that'll be it. What oh, teaser? I, think I got a uh, special message that tells me where uh Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are good. Okay, I seem to have the right phone. <laughs> what? That's, That's it. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. That the Howard. What? What? I mean, I still don't understand what happened there. I heard it live, and I have no idea what happened. I know. Uh, uh, uh. That's a, that's somebody's been on a, that's been on the radio for over forty years, and now doing, of course, a podcast for the last fifteen. And that's what you get. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I don't get yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the end of the show, and that's the end of our show. So that is the end of the show. Oh. Um, tomorrow's can, Tuesday. Request. Yes. Can, can we play that basketball scene from Airplane that I put in private chats <laughs> as our last thing? That do so. Can we? Well, before we do let's that, just end, let's just end on, on that note. But before that, of course, uh, I, I get YouTube, paid in plugs. It's the only YouTube link I've sent. I, oh. I get paid in plugs. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. 
Oh, and absolutely. Go at it. So I have a, a little YouTube channel on cars called DJ's Classic Garage, and I have been uh, doing actual real mechanic stuff on my charger and um, to show diagnosis, actually do repair. You actually see me do repair. And uh, it's a whole little segment. I, I talk about mainly uh, Chrysler products. I talk about some other things. I am working on an Oldsmobile. But it's I'm in a fun time. Basically, the average guy that can work in his own garage doing, you know, car things. So there I am. Yeah. Really excited. Six on the 340. And, uh, well, this video, looking at the spark plug. <laughs> and then, look at well, it. then look at, this look at video. That. It didn't look work. At you know, it's over there in the corner. Bastards. Three different that. tests on it. Look to, at that happy uh, man. See why it's all smiles well, all out, uh, full of personality sure look at the him. intake manifold <laughs> uh, yeah. went and uh put a aftermarket bolt he's gonna sing a song right after this so goes, get, right the, <laughs> we have the oil intrusion you know he's gonna hit us with a copyright strike for this right <laughs> you know that right <laughs> Wiggle dear on. google these bastards <laughs> took my video. <laughs> we got kids to feed. <laughs> well, stay tuned for more to find out what they did find under the intake manifold. Okay, so you have to watch I can't it. Wait to find out what, what did we find? <laughs> it was there. Who's the puzzle was hiding in there. Puzzle, me and puzzle. <laughs> have a puzzle cam on there as well. <laughs> oh, Mike. Oh, let us not forget. I never think I saw the quick and easy brake drum coating that lasts. Hey, everybody out there. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> funny to look at yourself. We're do something. Yes, it is. Education and a little education. Education. As say, education. On uh, these wonderful things back here. Rear drum brakes. Oh, oh drum brakes, drum brakes. They're exciting. They are. I haven't seen those exciting. in a while. It's exciting. Okay, so DJ's Classic Garage is at DJ's Classic Garage right there. Yes, I am. Pulling up those subscribers. Awesome. So Yay. we're going to get Dennis to 1,000, so please help him do that. Please subscribe. Yeah. Well, and at 500, I'm doing an AMA in the garage. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have, we're gonna have uh, yeah. Oh, live? Live, we're gonna do a live, baby. We're doing Is there live. Like an ATM? Uh, excellent. <laughs> no, no ATM. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not uh, that type of channel. <laughs> yeah, God, what's wrong with you? All right, so please make sure that the I own, I own three cars, John. Uh, Two old ones. Yeah, yes, he does. There's the cutest little BMW you ever want to yeah, see. Yeah, it's so cute. All right, so we're going to end the show now. I swear to God, we are going to end the show, okay. and we will end it with... Uh, with or I just want to get as far away from things as possible. So Elaine and I joined the Peace Corps. Yes. We were assigned to an isolated tribe, the Malombos. <laughs> They've never seen them <laughs> You can fast forward to the basketball part. Oh. They're, they're going to do the Tupperware thing. Tupperware going, products going. are ideal for you. <laughs> little 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 stretch your food dollar. This two quart seals in my <laughs> container keeps hot dog buns fresh for days. You must understand people had been completely isolated from civilization. No one had ever outlined a physical fitness program for them, and they had no athletic equipment. I started them on simple shorts. calisthenics and gradually worked them up to rudimentary game skills and finally advanced competitive <laughs> theory. I was patient with them and they were eager to learn. They seemed to enjoy themselves. It was probably due to the advanced American teaching techniques that we were able to bridge the generations of vice <laughs> Not one misses, right? Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us tonight. Please join us for any further discussion at RadioGunk.com in the forum section. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Radio Gunk. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell so you know when we're doing a new show. Thanks.